gonna see stuff. Oh, what? Oh my god. You're gonna feel stuff. Oh my god. Whoa, whoa, whoa. You're gonna hear stuff. Yeah, did you hear that person? Hold on, hold on. Yeah. It's active. No, 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 no. No, no, no. Around no, no. that corner. What, 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 what? You're gonna die. Okay. Oh, hi there. So, if you've watched me through the years, it is no secret that I am a deeply haunted house obsessed man. Haunted anything, really. Haunted houses, items, whatever. I have so many haunted items in my home. My house is very scary. So naturally, I have seeked out haunted locations since I was an awkward little child. And this obsession has continued well into my full-grown awkward adult years. And now I have the honor of exploring haunted locations with you for a living. And thank God, because let's be honest, what else would I do? And it has been a weird ride from exploring haunted hotels to buying an actual haunted apartment, investigating a haunted hospital, a haunted makeup studio, and sure, yeah, one time even a haunted ice cream shop. Remember that? Yeah, that, that one got weird. Point is though, is it's never mattered where the haunted location is. If there's ghosts, I'm in. But I'm afraid that this video is the one time that I have found myself extremely out of my depth. And it did not end well for me. Because I had no clue at the time that saying yes to exploring this particular haunted house would result in police reports having to be filed, stolen property, thousands of dollars lost, oh, oh god, my friend Andrew even had his windshield shattered, and ultimately, I had my entire life view changed after capturing some of the most objectively haunted evidence that I have ever captured in a video. No joke, this video gets extremely scary, so if you're watching at night, good luck. Oh no, the power went out and the darkness is revealing oh, the glow in the dark elements of my sick new limited edition merch. That actually is a dope shirt. That's pretty dope. I like that. But I'm actually curious to see what he caught now. Like, obviously I clicked on the video for Sam and Colby. Um, I, I don't really know who uh, Garrett Watts is, but I'm going to learn now today. So thank you for joining me on this little investigation adventure. Um, yeah, let's go ahead and dive into it. I, I know I didn't really <laughs> say much. Uh, hit the like button, subscribe to the channel if you like this type of content. I try to do, I try to react to as many paranormal investigations as possible. I like to give my own thoughts, give my own takes, uh, my honest opinions, and things along those lines. And this is going to be 2 hours and 25 minutes. I'm really not going to be pausing it too much. I'm not going to be really, you know, trying to, yeah, waste any time. Alright, let's go ahead and dive into it. <laughs> oh no, there's glow in the dark elements on the sleeve too? No. Oh, thank God, the power's back on. Well, I suppose, <laughs> since I'm talking about it anyways. Yes, I have a new merch collection out right now. That will keep you warm, stylish, attractive, and cool throughout the fall and winter seasons. What? A black hoodie variation of the very same sick merch, and it has matching pants? You've got to be kidding me. And both of them also glow in the dark? Whoa. All of this and some other really cool things are available right now at thingsbygarrett.com. I'll tell you a little more after the video. Okay, as I was saying before my power went out, I have never explored a well-known haunted location. The places I've been are always very unusual, and I've mostly found them on my own, sometimes literally stumbling across them like on the street. So imagine my shock when I got an invite to stay overnight in not just any famous haunted location, but arguably one of the most famous haunted locations in the world. World. This is a place that endless videos and books and films have been made about. A place where thousands of people have experienced life-altering supernatural events in broad daylight. And somehow I was going to be given the keys and left alone in there overnight inside of the legendary Winchester House. Now I, like you perhaps, had always vaguely heard the story of this place as a kid, but for some reason I had never actually looked into it. I knew that it was a massive Victorian mansion constructed at some point in like the late 1800s by the owner Sarah Winchester, built to trap and confuse the countless ghosts that she believed were coming after her. So she spent decades and millions of dollars creating the ultimate labyrinth of a home in hopes that the ghosts would never be able to find her, and that that obsession resulted in one of the most disorienting, strangest, and apparently most haunted houses in America, which is still standing to this day somewhere in California. Yeah, actually, my introduction into the Winchester Mystery Mansion was actually watching Stephen King's Rose Red. I, I watched a movie at, when I was younger. I didn't know it was based on uh, an actual, the actual house, the, the Winchester Mystery House, but it was basically kind of in the same realms. The house continued to build itself, or the house, you know, is has limited rooms, unlimited rooms and things like that. It was it was pretty neat to learn. And I think I really started getting addicted to the Winchester Mystery House. I actually went through a phase where I was just nonstop researching this place. And yeah, that was probably like high school when I was doing that stuff. Just like, oh my gosh, this place is incredible. I've never been there. I'd love to go someday. California. And that 
is all I knew. That little bit of information, along with the vague mental image of this one photo that I had seen years ago. And as for what the inside of the house looked like, I had absolutely no clue. As obsessed with haunted stuff as I am, and as famous as this house is, I, for some reason, had never seen a YouTube video about it, a documentary, a movie, nothing. So when I was invited to stay inside of it, the first thing I went to do is what I always do before I go into a haunted place. I grabbed my computer to research every single detail I could find on the internet about the house, and of course, learn what the inside of the house looked like. I wanted to see every room, every hallway, I wanted to know every spirit said to haunt it. You know, That's so I could, right. of course, go into it fully prepared, knowing exactly what I was getting myself into. But the moment I went to open my laptop, I stopped. Because I suddenly realized that my ignorance of what this place actually looked like on the inside was the most exciting part of this. Because that meant that I had the absurdly rare opportunity to go into one of the most mysterious and intricately constructed haunted places on the planet Earth with absolutely no idea what it even looked like or how to navigate it. Why would I want to ruin that opportunity for myself by simply Googling it? No way! I just... You're, you're right though, man. You, you did it right. <laughs> I uh, I was spoiled on that when I did my research, so you at least you were the smart one here. I, but then again, I started watching paranormal investigations, and I watched people go through the mansion itself, and I just, I, I basically know what the place looks like now, for the most part. I mean, it's probably a different story just going in there and actually walking it yourself. But yeah, yeah, no, I, I really feel ya. I really feel ya. I wish I, I wish I'd done the same thing. Honestly, just shut my computer off, and you know, it. I was young though. I was, I was a, I was a kid in school. I was ignorant. I wasn't thinking like someday I was actually gonna go there. So maybe today I'd go there, and unfortunately, I just know what it looks like now. But. You did it smart, man. Good job. That I Good job. to enter this house totally blind to what it looked like and explore it as if I were one of the spirits that it was built to confuse. I wanted to know if this house would successfully do its job and trap me inside of it, along with the countless ghosts that it's trapped inside of it over the past hundred plus years. And while I didn't want to see anything, especially about the inside of the house, uh, I still really wanted to learn more about it. Like, how actually haunted is this place? What kind of equipment and protections would I need? Were there any dangerous entities in it that'll stab me? So basically, I needed a very unique and non-visual approach to find out what was waiting for me inside of this house without spoiling it for myself. I needed someone to talk to. A person. No, an expert. And it just so happened that I knew of not just one, but two experts who I knew knew about the Winchester house because I heard them talking about it on Instagram. Two people that for some reason, beyond my understanding, agreed to meet with me in person to tell me everything I needed to know about the Winchester house. And that is where we begin with me absolutely clueless to the nightmare that I was about to enter with my friend Andrew Sawicki alongside me to capture an event that would turn my life upside down and completely change what I thought possible in any haunted location. Welcome, enjoy, and I will see you on the other side after the video. Good luck. I gotta say, I love the style this guy has. I love the whimsical style he's going with. I think it, it fits perfectly with him. Uh, it reminds me of Onyx the Fortuitous a little bit. Uh, if you don't know who that is, please look him up. Uh, I think he has a channel named, um... Oh, fuck, I can't even remember his name on YouTube. Damn it. Oh, well. Oh, well. I'll probably put his picture on the screen somewhere. Hey. <laughs> just, 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 just give me one second, okay? Dude, hang out. You're cool. Look, you have company out here. Oh, I'm sorry. Welcome. Just give me one second, okay? Hang on. Ah! Oh God. Okay, sorry. Hey, what's up, Andrew? You alright? Yeah, I'm totally fine. Welcome to my home. Come on in. Mm. Let me adjust the camera. What the hell is that? There's something, Andrew. The people in there? Those? Behind that, yeah. What the? You haven't seen those before? <laughs> there was a maintenance guy here this morning. He said, oh, it's some equipment. I'll cover it up so it's not a nice sort. Don't, don't even think about it. It's radiators. Oh, but can I see you to see if you've seen him? Isn't that cool? <laughs> Andrew, focus on what is important. The Winchester House adventure that we have in our future, okay? What? Oh, look. Have you ever seen when I put this necklace on the teddy bear? <laughs> like Rose from the Titanic? Did you see that yet? Okay, sorry. Winchester House. I'm shaking. Do I need to sit down? <sighs> okay. The Winch- Andrew! 
It's just air conditioned equipment. Sorry. Okay, the Winchester house is one of the most haunted locations in all of the America and I would argue the world. What I know about the Winchester house is what like an 11 year old would know about the Winchester house from watching a YouTube short. I know the broad strokes because usually when we go into a haunted location, you know what I like to do? I like to, to talk about what it means to me and do my weird little internet research and crack into it and then we go in there. But I figured that would be crazy for me to do because I want to leave that to the experts. I want to hear from people who have been inside of the Winchester house. I want to go learn. Oh, I just hurt my, my fingers because look. Oh. I know, I'm trying out a new style. I don't think I really have an identity. That's crazy. I want to go to people who have felt it, who have been in it. So I've used my resources. I have reached out to, I would consider, what are the utmost experts on the Winchester house and its hauntings in every single respect. We're gonna go meet them today. Is it that thrilling? Yes, but there might be another angle to it. You right now get to guess who the experts are because you might know who they are. And I've prepared an incredibly elaborate game for you to figure it out. Oh, oh, oh. Okay, you ready? You see? You remember earlier, Andrew, when I told you that, when I told you that the AC repair equipment guy was here? Holy shit, did he really just paint the top of a John Carpenter's Halloween jack-o'-lantern prop? I want one of those. That was actually a fib. Yeah, I didn't believe it. You believed it. So these are our experts. There's all these clues hidden all over their bodies, within the pockets, on the shirt. Everything it's about this whispers who this might it's be. It's Sam and Bobby, right? Because they went, they've been there like the Winchester house. They've been there multiple times, and that's like a merch. Was it too obvious? Did you just say it's at Santa Colby? I did too good with the hair. Was that too obvious? Um, I prepared all these clues. They were born in 1997. Dude, dude, did that give away too? Because they have the Ouija boards. Just sorry, I was a little defeated that you guessed as quickly as you did. No matter how subtle my my hints were. Where did you even get these? Well, I, okay, I'm pretty sure I like stole like stole them from a business. Like I've actually been really nervous that someone's gonna come knocking on my door today if they check the security cameras. Oh. They were behind the business. I think they were gonna throw them away, but I didn't. Now it makes sense why they were covered up. <laughs> I have to go get them in the night, and there was a light that went off, and it was a whole thing, but it's fine, because I have them now. They did not have heads, so I had to improvise. With, and luckily, I had some Halloween decorations. Oh. And, but, but you see the hair, that's that's clearly oh, that's Colby. Cool. You know, I think of Colby, and I think of like a cool guy. Maybe he plays rock and roll music or something. Maybe. But can we just take a moment to understand this? That's sick. Karen and Andrew X Sam and Colby. I don't know. Yeah. And Andrew, I have something for them. Something incredibly important that I need to give them. Okay, I can't believe we're gonna actually go talk to Sam and Colby in person and get all the scoop on the Winchester house and learn everything about the freaking spooky vibe. We're talking to them in person? No, oh, yes, in person. We're gonna go going today. That's why you're here. We're going. Are they in town? Surprise! What do you mean? They don't live in LA, right? Oh god, what are you talking about? I think they live in Vegas. Do, do they think that I know that? I told them I was coming over at six. Oh God, what are you, Andrew, they don't live, they, they live in Los Angeles. I've seen a post from Los Angeles. They don't live in Los Angeles. They definitely live in Las Vegas. Enjoying your shit, man. You're funny. You're a funny, Thanks dude. For having me, guys. You're welcome. Oh, it's really nice to be in here. Also, your house is really nice, and the air conditioning's great. Is it okay if I sit here in this cool yellow chair? Oh, of course. course. Oh, it, it instantly breaks, and then I start crying. Okay. Well, first of all, congrats on being just great boys, and everything's good. And great we're boys. <laughs> we are great boys. That's really, really cool. So, I'm here to give a little bit of information. What type of information? What do you want to know? Information about the Winchester house. <laughs> Wait, because I don't know anything about it. Sorry, I should tell you why I'm in your home. We're masters of the Winchester mystery house. I knew it! Andrew, high five! Well, you're holding the camera. Yeah, yeah, I'm holding I'll the give camera. Okay. 
<laughs> High five. <laughs> when I leave, he's just like, oh, the hand thing. I can't. He quits YouTube because of that. <laughs> it's just Colby. It's like a whole thing. And Colby. Yeah. So, no, I wanted to go into this with the people watching this because the Winchester House is, tell me if I'm wrong, but I think considered one of the most haunted houses in America. You know, I thought about doing this whole thing where I had learned about it, but then I thought, oh my God, I want to go, you know, see Sam and Colby so bad. I've wanted, I've been in your guys' So bad. I've been in your guys' DMs for a long time being like, I want to see you guys just pestering you. We keep saying no. Yeah. <laughs> and you finally came. We finally found our address. <laughs> oh my gosh, the camera fans <laughs> down and they're like tied up. <laughs> no, 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 that's not the case. <laughs> but don't go. <laughs> oh God. No, but thanks for the Winchester House information. Because I thought it would be really fun to learn with everybody. Yeah. You know? And, and maybe you can, ooh, you see the red door, you better not go through there or you'll get your ankles bit by a vampire bat. Ooh. Something. There's a lot of red doors. Don't go in them. Are you really there are? And small doors, and doors that lead to nowhere, that you will fall off to your death. I'm kind of into that. There was like literally doors <laughs> where you'll open it and like break your legs if you walk out. Every single staircase is built differently. So you'll have like little staircases, really steep staircases, staircases that are sideways. It makes no sense. My understanding of this place is that Sarah, right? Yes. Her husband built the Winchester rifle. Yep, yep. And it yep. was used to fight a lot of wars. She felt that the ghosts that were all lost in these wars were coming to haunt her at this estate. So I believe she built out the estate in order to confuse the ghosts by building false doors, traps, right. stairs. Yeah, no, I mean, the, the, you got it, like, right on the money right there. I mean, like... Okay, cool. Just... Hi, guys. Thanks so much, Sam and Colby. <laughs> I steal something Hi. as I go. <laughs> that whole mannequin. Oh, yeah. Uh, I, you guys are mannequins in my home. It's a whole thing. Don't ask questions. Um... I what? shouldn't have, I did, what? You have us in your house? Nope. Right now? Nope. I'm, you said that. You're, you're literally, you're being really manipulative right now and you're putting words in my mouth. <laughs> oh, sorry. Right. I'll focus on Winchester. The music is going and it's creepy. Oh, yeah. She built it for 36 years because she feared that if she ever would have stopped, the ghost would have come at her. Now that I didn't know. She actually had a seance every single night of those 36 years. Yep. Pretty sure actually her employees actually started catching on to that because they would actually hear her doing seances and talking to people in like her uh, like her the study room or the room that she would plan out the drawings and the the charts for the house and everything. She would actually they would hear that her talking to people. I'm pretty sure. Did you guys see that movie that came out? I think in fuck was it like 2019? I, I just remember watching it and being so disappointed. They they had like Helen Mirren as Sarah Winchester, one of the best actresses of all time, and the movie still felt like a generic cash grab it was so mind-blowing i thought dude the second i saw her name on it i was like this is gonna be like amazing it's gonna be like a paranormal movie a haunted movie nominated for an academy award and yeah where she would go into a seance room and contact the spirits and they'd tell her what she should build the next day what was the spookiest thing that happened to you guys in the house Lots of different stuff. So, okay, we consider this place like the Grand Central Station for ghosts. It's like a giant portal. So you don't know if you're going to be talking to somebody like, that's a good person, bad person, human, non-human. So it's like living in Los Angeles. Literally, yes. yes. For ghosts. <laughs> wow. So really interesting is you might not even capture some of us from the Winchester house. It could be coming in no, from no, another no. area. From another home? That is actually something that happens there? It is like the epicenter of spirituality in America. Giant yeah. portal. Like it's, it's the holy grail that you're going to. She was building this for multiple reasons. Yeah. So the initial most famous reason is that of that she thought she was going to be cursed by the people that died of the Winchester rifle. But the reason that we've really gone into a lot of research is she's actually creating this for the spirits that cannot pass on. So she's giving a home to all these other spirits to live while they're in between the different universes. That is the sweetest thing I've ever heard. <laughs> I, 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 she's a nice lady. She's a very nice lady. Very Sarah nice. Winchester is not an evil spirit. I always thought she was trying to disorient them, but she's actually like a really, really cool landlord. <laughs> yeah, you could say that. Yeah, yeah that's I actually wonder, a, um, a good way to put it. In there. Sarah is spotted a lot. Actually, I think, who? Who was it? Like, uh, Selena. So our friend Selena, she sees... Selena Spooky Boo? Selena yes! Spooky Boo. What, are you acting like I don't stand? <laughs> <laughs> we all stand, Selena we Spooky Boo. She's gosh. able to see things from, like, the other side, and she said she, she encountered Sarah Winchester multiple times. I just stared at her, and it's like I could tell she was talking to me, but, like, not in words. That is so special. I... Uh, that is, like, really sweet. I feel like... 
I never talk. I, <laughs> I'm like a weird little secret psychic, and I never talk about that on YouTube. And like, really? Psychic as well? No, it's it's. Uh, you it's, see things? You already said it. Oh my gosh. Um, well, I mean, I, it's true. I've, I never talk about this stuff on YouTube because I, I sometimes think that I just need to facilitate these fun adventures. And sometimes I'm like, no, it's not about me. It's about the experience. But there was this experience that I had on a plane two weeks ago, and. There was this woman who was sitting next to me, this sweet older woman, and she was a chatty, chatty Kathy to the guy next to her. And uh, the guy left to go to the restroom. And she turned to me, and I instantly, like, oh my gosh, it was so interesting. She was like, hey, how's it going, you know? Oh, yeah, where you go? All the normal airplane questions. And I was, he's like, that's my son over there. And then I instantly saw this other guy that was in her life, and he just said, like, tell her I didn't break it. And I was like sitting there in my headphones listening to her kind of airplane small talk with this voice just going, tell her I didn't break it. And I'm like, I can't ignore this. I can't ignore this. And then I was like, oh yeah, do you have any other kids? And she goes, well, and she's got a little teary eyed. She's like, I had another son, but he, you know, he passed away in a car accident a couple years ago. And then I heard it again. It's just this voice. It's like, just please right now tell her I didn't break it sort of thing. Yeah. And then I was like, hey, I'm so sorry. Please tell me to shut up if this sounds weird at all. But I was like, that time that happened when like something got broken, I was like, your son just says that, uh, just he wants you to know that he uh, he didn't break it. That he wasn't like angry with you. And she just like instantly started like bawling and she was like, oh, right, right. I, right after he passed away, the night that, you know, the night that he passed away, I was in the kitchen and this, uh, this jar went flying on the kitchen wall and it just shattered into a million pieces. And I was like, that right there. I was like, that's it. And he just wants you to know that that wasn't out of anger. He just wanted you to know that he was still there. And then I just kind of wanted to go back into my headphones because I wasn't trying to be some like, listen to me, I'm a, I'm a psych. You know, I, I don't want to claim something like that because I don't know about that stuff. I just, I just hear it. Where and did it you happens. see this? Where did you see him? In your, in your mind's eye or like? It's not a visual. Like... No, no, no. I, I could barely tell you what he looked like. It's not about that. And it's not even a voice either. It's just, she knew. it's it was just quick. instantly tell her. And she was like, I've always wondered if, if, if that was like out of anger, because apparently they had fought a little bit in the end. Because she was like, I knew it was him, but I didn't know if it was anger, and he was furious at me. And then that's why she started bawling. She was like, I've been looking for that closure for years. That's... <laughs> that's pretty fucking intense, man. That almost brought me to tears just listening to that story. You know, you know my personal feelings about psychics and whatnot. I, I'm very 50-50 on a lot of them, and the reason why I'm 50-50, and I'll go ahead and tell the story again. Um, when a girl went missing, Madison Bell, when she went missing here in Ohio, there was a psychic on YouTube basically saying that she was murdered by the mother and her ex-boyfriend. And that her, she was buried on at the mother's house here in Ohio, somewhere close by. And that they needed to get the dogs on that property because they're going to find the body. She was 100%, this psychic was 100% convinced that they were going to find her body on the property. And that the mother was responsible and so was the boyfriend. And I, I bought into it a little bit because it was strange that she ended up going missing. And it was like an affair and stuff, I guess, going on between this guy and the mom. And I guess it, it, crazy shit was going on and being said. And, and that psychic ended up being a liar. Because Madison Bell was found and she was okay. She just ran away from home. So I was about to go on and leave a comment on this person's uh, YouTube channel saying, hey, you know, maybe you should know the facts before you start, you know, saying a bunch of bullshit and stuff. Because, you know, you're, you're pointing, you're making accusations against people that had nothing to do with it. And she removed all the comments and everything. But that was like, that opened my eyes to like how, how con artists are. There's a lot of people out there who are just con artists and, and and horrible people. I will be honest, that was a horrible thing she did. She was pointing fingers at the mother of this girl who wasn't even dead, saying that she murdered her. Could you imagine that? And I'm very 50-50 on psychics, but I do believe that there are psychics in the world. I do believe that there are people who have gifts to actually talk and, and, and uh, feel what spirits feel. And this is one of those examples. That was awesome. That was a beautiful story. I love that. So chilling, dude. It, it, was, it, oh was just, but it, it was just an interesting situation, and I've had that happen. I always tell Andrew about them. Well, do you know what that means for the Winchester house, though? Is all the spirits are going to be drawn to you and try to, like, tell you their stories? I mean, it happens at the most random times. Um, but, I mean, I'm open to it, you know? Like, we kind of goof off sometimes in, in spooky locations, but man, oh man, do I feel like I get some wild stuff happening. I mean, direct voices. The things that have happened to us in some of these locations, I sometimes have kind of wondered, like, is this because maybe they know I can hear them, so they're acting up? Most of the mediums that we talk to say that usually spiritual energy targets the people that can see them. Those that are more in tune with everything end up getting more things.
things happen. Oh my gosh. There's just been so many times where I feel like in my life I've just hung out with ghosts, just loved just being there with them. I can't see them, can't hear them, can't see what they're wearing, what they look like, nothing. But just some rooms I go into and I'll just like, oh. You're gonna feel right at home with the windshield. <laughs> I don't know, I'm sorry to get all like serious, like, <laughs> you know. But, um, but I just think it's really interesting what you said about Selena. Here's another interesting thing. So they have this seance room that a lot of people would say is where she went to talk to the spirits on what she should build the next day. However, there's a different room. It's called the Witch's Cap. And that's actually the yeah. she held all these seances. So there's a big sign that says seance room. That's just for the tour. But go into the Witch's Cap. That is the single most haunted place of the entire house. Oh, Andrew, we're gonna do that. It's like the, it's the peak of the entire house mansion. It's not going to the basement. No, I will do that. Okay. Well, I've got a thing well, for basements. He does. The majority of the Winchester house is very good spirits, right? But in the basement, there is an angry employee that wheels around a wheelbarrow yeah. and yeah. like annoys and pesters and tries to scare guests because he just doesn't like the activity. I can fix him. Yeah, you really think so? I just left a chicken nugget for a ghost in a video and I think that he really liked it. Did, was it eaten when you came back? No, it's still down there probably. I have thought of that. Oh, here's my question. Did you go down into the basement? Both times, I believe. I don't know if we investigated down there, actually. But with, when you take a tour of the spot, like, they'll for sure take you in the basement. Now, I haven't even told you. I'm not even gonna do the tour. Okay. Seriously, I wanna go in there at night and just exist in there. You know, just me and Andrew and see what happens. And I'm gonna go into all these spaces. You're, just, you're, just, you're gonna get lost. You guys gotta stick together the entire time. Wait, how big is this place? Okay, that's the fun thing about this is Andrew knows nothing about the Winchester house. He hasn't even seen a photo. He has no clue. No clue. And I barely do either. 160 rooms. What, dude, yeah. what? Literally, what though? I don't even get, what has that even happened? I look at his phone and he's just leaving hate comments on my Instagram. <laughs> <laughs> he's like some like, pretty messed up stuff. I'm like, okay, Sam, like, your job sucks. And then he's handed over to Colby and he's gone. <laughs> <laughs> you hear really loud music playing upstairs. <laughs> Oh god, sorry, I keep on trying to... 161 rooms. Like, oh, wait. That's real. Even I thought it was like, oh, there's probably like, you know, 16 rooms in there. There's 2,000 doors and 10,000 windows. But again, there's 2,000 doors, but only 150 rooms. So it's like, where do all these other doors go to? I know why you've been in there more than once now. This is so mysterious. Live there and not see everything. Jesus. That's crazy. Do you guys do any, uh, like, ghost equipment? Or do you just kind of go in raw? Hmm, what an interesting uh, uh, question. I'm surprised that you passed up going in raw, but okay. Going in raw. No, Jesus. no, sorry. <laughs> if this makes the edit, I apologize to you watching. Um, you, you, so the question is, do I have any ghost equipment? No, I think the question is, do you two have any ghost equipment? Yeah, the Sam and Colby, that's this why you're coming really here. This is a really weird sucks, way to yeah. go about <laughs> Well, have you two ever worked with holy water before? I don't think so. No. We, we don't really like cleansing ourselves. We just like getting all the things inside of us, you know? Interesting. So it's almost as though sometimes you're... <laughs> uh, yeah, there's a lot of horrible things happening right now. But I'm just... I, you know what I'm trying to do, right? Yeah, no, I can... I, I have something for them. Something incredibly important. Man, oh man, that's so interesting to think about that you guys are like... You're going, oh yeah, we, oh we, yeah, we never really work with, with holy water or anything like that. What is that? Is that a, is that a, is that a dagger? That's just a dagger, but you, when you, when you travel, you need to self-defense a little bit. Jeez, that's fine. There's nothing wrong with a little dagger. I made something for you guys. <gasps> oh, I'm so excited about this. I worked on this for a weird amount of time. Oh, oh God. God. I'm excited. Okay, this one is for you. Oh my oh. God, it's engraved? Wait, this is amazing. Guess who that's for, because it says CB, that's Colby Bob. Is that one mine too? Okay, no, you're being selfish, Sam. Oh. There's one mistake, though. I, I, I sealed it with, like, this enchanted stone thing. Can you get that enchanted stone off? You can even rip it off if you want. It's, it's just like everything. Yes! You're so strong and cool! Andrew, did you see how strong he was? Yeah, yeah did, you, did everybody see how strong he was? <laughs> okay, so just in, it's in keychain. I found it at the gas station, but it's really cool, okay? So, Speaking of keychain, I like yours. Oh! The 7-Eleven? But these are cooler than even the 7-Eleven wing. Oh. I'm so excited! Oh god! Like this? Yeah. Okay. I wonder. I, I legitimately wonder what it is. Is it gonna be like holy water or something? All right. All right. Remember, I was asking about holy water. Yeah. Well, how are you gonna use holy water? Oh. That's right, baby. Sam and Colby custom-made holy water projectiles. 
You know, I did all these details, so this is your birthstone right here, oh Sam. Oh my god. And that's your birthstone right there, Colby. Yeah. Wait until you see what the, what, the, what the bottom of the gun says down that's there. Pretty, that's pretty fucking... <laughs> that's pretty fucking dope. I gotta, I gotta admit, I would absolutely make one, but I'd make mine a shotgun. That is... F that's like Ghostbuster shit. Friend. Best. Oh, best friend. So I figured when you guys are ghost hunting, you'd like tap them together, you know, side and a spear, and then blast them with the holy water gun. Because Andrew and I have taken holy water guns into places before. We fought bats with them. True. I'm going to score them if we see them. No, don't score them. You see on the other side, it says blessed, because it's blessed. like holy water. Blessed. This is the nicest thing we've ever been gifted, ever. Thank you. This is all we needed, because there's definitely a demon attached to us. <laughs> it's not loaded right now, but I blessed the holy water myself, so it should be fine. What well, I didn't bless it myself. I got it blessed in a very specific way. It's fine. It I wonder what they mean by that. There's a demon attached to them. Do they mean like the Sally incident or are they talking more along the lines of like the more conjuring video reason? Like I'm, that video needs to be dropped. <laughs> it's holy water. It's not just tap water from a sink. Well, once upon a time it was, Colby. <laughs> Thank you so much. Thank you. Yeah. Any final warnings or any other little tidbits of information that you want to tell me? I don't know, if you guys want to try to figure this out, there's some weird, like, numbers going on. Like, when Sarah had people build the house, there's, like, oh. weirdly seven of a lot of stuff. So. Oh, I'm not too good with the yes. Unlike a normal haunted location for us, most of the stuff that we've ever captured was visual or hearing stuff. Like, well, like, this is one of the first times I've ever seen a shadow figure. I think I saw one in front of me. But our friends have heard audible voices right next to them. Like, yeah, we were all together in the same room and we heard like a hello. Right there, it was literally like this. Hey, hey. Like, you're gonna see stuff, you're gonna feel stuff, you're gonna hear stuff. Like, it's active, for sure. Remember the super evil room? We investigated the first time. There's one location that even the employees won't even go into. They try not to give it a name so that people don't talk about it, people don't actually go into it. There's also a wing where um, the fire started. So it used to be seven stories high, and then there was a fire, and now it's like five stories. During the fire, someone was trapped inside the room. So you can see them trying to pry open the door, and the marks are still there. We have like five slots that you, you could go to if you want oh, to. Oh, here this we is, go, This yeah. is like the most haunted locations of the entire Winchester house. Tell us the five slots. We'll do all of the five slots. Okay, first, we think you should start in the Grand Ballroom. This is the largest spot of the entire area, and it's like right as you walk in, it's got this beautiful piano, and it was pretty dang it. If you go through the front door, you'll see it to your right. Oh, I'm, that... I'm a huge fan of haunted ballrooms. Andrew, imagine we do a little, a little waltz in there. Have you guys ever danced together in there? <laughs> oh! Okay, sorry, slot two. <laughs> uh, slot two, the 7-Eleven staircase, right next to the Hall of Fame. <gasps> two. What? Do you guys understand how crazy of a coincidence this is? I just got this yesterday. You yeah. got it for the Winchester house. No, I didn't even know about a 7-Eleven room. Oh. Wait, dude, that's crazy. The you number guys? thing, the 7-Eleven thing, you brought that up earlier like it meant something? This is nuts. This is crazy. Let's add a really dramatic song here, because they're not giving us the energy of how crazy this <laughs> is. <laughs> okay, about this house is connected. Okay, I just said the craziest thing in the world, and you're playing Subway Surfers. <laughs> <laughs> it's like so loud. Like, all right, all right. So can you just one second not play that? <laughs> Sorry. Okay, slot three. Slot three are the two bedrooms. Sarah Winchester's bedroom, and then Daisy's bedroom. The Daisy... I'm fucking loving this guy's video, dude. This is fantastic. I'm truly loving this. 27, we're almost 30 minutes into the video and we still haven't even got to the Winchester house yet. But I'm enjoying their cut. I'm, I'm enjoying these guys, dude. This guy needs to do a collaboration with Sam McColby. Genuinely. Genuinely, I would love to see a collaboration with Sam McColby. Like an, like, like an actual collaboration, like where they go to a haunted location. The girl got trapped in the fire mm -hmm. and Sarah's bedroom is... Sarah's where, bedroom. Where Sarah and she's, she's, she's most active in her bedroom and in the seance room. Oh. Our friend actually saw her as a shadow figure walk into the room and then all of our equipment went off right after. Dude, speaking of weird stuff, that face track it keeps on getting over there. It's actually kind of crazy. Really? <laughs> we have a ghost inside of our house. Well, no, well, I mean, if anybody's gonna have a oh, ghost inside of our house. <laughs> That is hilarious. Man. Wait, That's wait. Maybe their house is haunted. Maybe we do a video wait, here tonight. Yeah. Maybe you guys, oh, maybe you guys. Do. <laughs> I just canceled on the Winchester house. Okay, guys, so I think you like before the video. Andrew, go get the sleeping bag. <laughs> Sorry, fourth room. So the fourth room is the one that they think is the seance room. It's actually in the ab absolute center of I've, Oh, of God. The house. It's called the heart of the mansion. Also, there's a trap door in there. 
Wait, wait. Let's throw a trap door in the seance room. I don't know, Bart, do you fall? Does it have spikes on the bottom and skulls on the spikes? You can maybe fall into the kitchen. So there's definitely some spikes. <laughs> that's, that's you, everybody. <laughs> just like, like literally, you just keep on accidentally falling into the kitchen. You just hear a huge climber come down. I have so much food in my hands. And then finally, let me talk about the witch's camp. Witch's camp. The real seance room. It kind of sucks to investigate, but that's where you're going to get all the answers. Dude, I'm not even kidding. It just had it to where it's like, hey, there's a face right there, and there's a face right there. Select which one that you want. I'm not even kidding. It's well, none of us are. Right? That is no. None of us are facing that. We're all no, I'm, it's it's not just like, oh, it's not bright enough in here. It's literally like something there. It's, <laughs> it's the same spot every time. Oh, no. Whoa! Whoa! <laughs> oh my God! <laughs> this always happens to me too, guys, because I do just as much cool stuff as you guys. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's right. Yeah, I can relate. No, to this. no, no, no. They do more. They way do way more than you. No, do. I, no, I, they, I don't. No, no, they're always doing All stuff. Right, well. Oh Jesus. No, I'll get there in my own way. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you guys so much. I'm gonna take everything you've told me on and off camera, and I'm gonna make a map to navigate this house with. You're gonna need a map. Good luck. You're definitely gonna need a map. You're gonna die. You're gonna die. <laughs> I'm joking. <laughs> I'll get out of your house. I'm sorry. <laughs> Thank you guys so much. This was terrible. Thank you, boys. Thanks for Good luck, man. Be careful. Be careful. <sighs> you gave us everything we need yeah. to get in there properly. I just like <laughs> trying to extend the weird interview energy, but what else? They're like, get out! Go. No, no, thank you guys. We're gonna go have a wild night of debauchery in Las Vegas. Oh, oh God! Be careful. Walk to there too. We're gonna drink alone and go to bed early. Yeah, no. All right. <laughs> the city is scarier yeah. than Winchester for sure. Bye. 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 <laughs> See you guys. See you guys. <laughs> Bye. Sorry. I was thinking we could go back tonight and we would still get back at a pretty reasonable hour to Los Angeles. But also listen to this. We're already in Las Vegas, okay? Do you understand? Uh, yeah, I think I understand that we're in Vegas. Andrew, can I propose something to you? When are we ever in Vegas? Ooh, a waterfall motive made of gold. What if we stay here in Vegas for the night? I get us a hotel room. I slide my card over and say, one of the nicest rooms you have, please. And then they tell me a room that costs like $6,000 and I go, okay, I'll take like a medium room. And then it's still like $3,000 and I go, okay, can you give me something for like 370, you know? And then they go, okay, like a normal room. And I go, that one. Boom. Come on, what if we did that? <laughs> but Andrew. I mean, it is Friday night. Also, where are all these people going to? Oh, Andrew, look at this one. The Venetian Hotel. Uh, that's pretty soon. I don't know if I would want to live in Las Vegas. Look how fucking crowded it is. And I, 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 lo I look, I like people sometimes, but I'm not like. Yes, it's like you're on the streets of Venice. There's a hotel that looks like New York City as well, but we'll try that one if there's no rooms in this one. I saw him and I saw Colby. It might be. No! What do you want me to run over these civilians? They are so mad. Dude. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Vegas is dicey. And then imagine like rolling dice. I can't really see you. It's dark, but yeah. There. Whoa. What? It smells like a home cooked meal. We will go get a home cooked meal and then we'll get a buffet. Dude, it's so hot. One time it was so hot in Arizona, me and my friends cooked some cookies on the sidewalk. They tasted really bad. <laughs> oh god. Vegas obviously has too many people. What is that? I, it's like they're Exactly. That's probably one of the reasons why I don't think I would live here. Pumping like chicken casserole through the vents in Vegas. That's what they do, man. <laughs> Bro, you can't go up. Andrew, of That's course like not a barricade. Can. Andrew, that barricade does not count for me. No, you can't. Andrew, it's called Sin City no. for a reason, baby. Oh. Welcome to being alive. <laughs> a weak f <laughs> that you just committed. <laughs> You're just gonna keep on going up, huh? I wanna go up to the ceiling and see the whole sky. Andrew, this is what I'm talking about. The sphere. Look, Whoa. a castle. That's right about this on the news. Let's park right there. Now this is Vegas. Let's go look at the city. Yeah, but it's gonna take you like an hour to get your car to the parking garage. Yeah. But look, it's worth it for the view. Let's take a look. There's this cage here. Just pretend like it's not there. <laughs> And then I become Vegas' next big thing, helicopter boy. <laughs> Acting like people don't know about the sphere. I think a meteorite just hit Las Vegas, guys. <laughs> there it is. It just hit, and the, and the whole ground shook. <laughs> oh. No. 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 
No. All right, Andrew, for real. Let's go try to find a room. Tonight? This shitty's mine. Who you said you wanted to go to bed? I don't know, man. This place looks pretty expensive. It does look expensive, but let's just see what they have. Can you believe it, Andrew? I never thought I'd make it. The city of dreams! Oh, quick tip, Andrew. People in Vegas, when you're walking next to them, they love to be tickled. Go for the biggest guy you can. No, I they love it here. Bad news. No rooms. They said, try the next hotel. Oh. What the hell is this? Gotcha. Whoa, so they had a room available. Yeah. I don't want to talk about how much it costs. Let's go. <laughs> this is crazy. I feel like I'm in the Cheesecake Factory. Woo. Andrew, who knew that, that tonight when you come to me go see Sam and Colby that we'd have the vacation of our lives? Do you see what I see? <laughs> Do my ears just pop? Wait, what room did you get? 29. Oh my. The clouds Wait, oh, it's a big scary video. Look, wait a minute. I've heard whispers about this place. What? Whispers of hauntings. I don't know where we are. All the floors just changed. The, the elevators are gone. Don't look. What? No, they're right there. I think this might be where the Titanic's sink. Uh, no. <gasps> what if we had a double door speed? Dude, wait. How much did you spend on this room? Andrew, I didn't hear that much. Wait, what? Uh, okay. Well, this is a humble door. It's probably chill. If you don't know what type of room you got, you just what, said you have a room and you gave me a credit card? Something like that. It all happened so quick, and that woman had a weird energy. She's like the type of woman who would be like, Toy Story 2 is my favorite one. And I'd be like, okay, is it? Okay. Oh, dude! This just looks like you're haunted apartment. <laughs> oh my gosh, we blink and it is. Like, <laughs> it's so haunted that the last year didn't happen. The apartment was just messing with us. <laughs> Wait, I can't see you. It's so okay. dark. Right, well, dude, what is this? This is something I like to call my city. Ooh, what's that room for? <laughs> I thought it was gonna be like this massive, like, bathroom moment. <laughs> I really like that. It's just a closet, but that's pretty nice. Ooh. You see that? That's probably a real pearl. I've never understood those hangers. What's that for? I, uh, no one's ever used these. Okay, Andrew, welcome to the bathroom. <laughs> Oh, thank God, yes, I said, I said, please, please, please don't give me a room with it where there's not a landline phone by the toilet. Yeah. <laughs> I got connections, he said. For you, we'll go ahead and get that installed. <laughs> oh, don't trip. And guess what, Andrew? That turns into a big bed. Sick. Okay, okay, I'm fair, I'm fair. We'll flip for who gets to sleep on the big bed. So, um, Flip for you, have a coin? I have a remote. If it lands buttons up, I get to sleep on the bed. If it lands buttons down, you get to sleep on the bed. Uh, okay. Is that the sphere? What? The sphere? Uh, it's fine, Andrew. I thought it was something else. Dude, yeah, definitely you're no distracted. Sphere. You missed the throw. What is wrong with you? Do you miss the throw? Well, oh, okay. my wrist hurts now. I can't throw it again, and you can't. I didn't it. hear it like a clank Andrew, or anything it went... like that. Spin about a hundred thousand times. It even dinged to the ceiling a little bit, and it landed right there. And you were you were too distracted. Maybe. Well, I mean, you could have just had the bed because you got the room. Yeah, that's you didn't need to do that whole fake remote thing. It wasn't fake. It really happened. <laughs> Oh my gosh. The energy, I'll tell you, that he brings good energy to the videos that he makes. This is my introduction into him, and I've already gotten kind of an idea of what to expect from this guy's channel. I, I can see my, I, you know what, I'll subscribe to his channel, because I'm enjoying your first video. I, I'm, I'm genuinely pleased, man. It's, it's really funny. It's really good. You got charm. I, I like it. Andrew, wow. Please, please. I've asked you a hundred times. Please hand me that Diet Coke. I do not care that it's ten dollars. This is crazy, bro. This might be the most expensive thing I've ever touched. Yeah. <laughs> it truly really isn't what I had in mind for the Vegas moment. Oh my god! Telling Sam and Colby like, we're gonna go find party! <laughs> well, no, we're gonna go party. I don't think so. No, no, we're gonna party hard this way. Feel it in my feet, and it feels so good. <laughs>
Tonight, we're going demon mode. Imagine someone's name is outside food and beverage. And they go see this and go, I've never felt young, even when I was a kid. I've always felt radically above my age and really alone. Come hit me up on the dance floor. Vegas isn't lit. <laughs> you know how this video is supposed to be about like the Winchester house? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. It's so funny. <laughs> <laughs> it's 5 a.m. No one's ever gonna understand what just happened because no, we've aged 12 years tonight. Oh. Okay? I almost fell over the table, but who cares? No, hate to Vegas. If you live here and you love it, we love that for you. We yeah, we, yeah, we stand. Yeah. Andrew, we die if we tried to drive right now. We haven't slept in like 27 hours. <sighs> just glad that the remote fell buttons up. Oh, right. Dude, there's nothing left in us. Press unrecord on everything. Can't tell you it all. Can't tell you it all. <laughs> You know what, though? After watching them be there, I mean, I could probably go and hang out at Las Vegas for a day. I mean, that would probably be a pretty good time, a day or a weekend, and I'd probably find some enjoyment out of it, but living there is like a whole other question. Like a whole different ball game. I just did it. Nah, not for me. Not for me. I'm actually a big fan of the rural kind of areas. I like, I, I like living in uh, towns. I think towns are pretty peaceful. There's not a whole lot of people running around starting stuff, and there's not a whole lot of people making a lot of noise. The city is just one of those things, man. I've been, I, you know, I used to live near Seattle, so I kind of have an understanding of how big and busy a city can be. Uh, it, it just, it's, it's one of those things, dude, you just you kind of get tired of after a while. I mean, if you're I guess if you grew up in that environment, though, you might be a little bit OK with it. But yeah, and you might even feel like empty after you leave a city or something like that. You just might feel like it's just not the same. But yeah, 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 this looks like a, I, mean, I just noticed the whole montage was just basically him just walking around and just looking like he's doing stuff. Oh, hello, sir. Did you catch my 7-Eleven exit like soon? Uh, yeah, you talked about that a lot last night. Last night didn't happen. Why would you do that? Why would you ruin this morning by talking about last night? I thought you were my friend. Sorry. All right, listen. Winchester, try to like make it so Winchester heavy right now. <laughs> try to make it the creepiest right here. Okay, so I was doing some research last night on the Winchester. It's like now I just went to bed <laughs> and like forgot everything. We should probably just head back to like Pine Dick, to like in Jealous. Girl. Wake up. Leave him. Move on. How long has it been? Mm. Love this little chocolate moment, by the way. Mm. Later today, this is gonna be crazy, 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 crazy. <laughs> Plenty of fish in the sea. Um, what? I've been telling you for years. Okay, literally. How long have you been dating him now? Answer the question. Give you a clue. Four years. And that's weird. What's on your ring finger? Point taken. What, what, what is it? I'm just, dude, I was imagining it. It's a bachelorette party and I'm one of the girls because we're at the hotel thing right now. It's not the girl getting married. She's like, one of the girls at the party and she's giving advice to her friend. <sighs> oh. Tonight? Okay, here's what we're going to do. We're going to find your good guy. Tonight? <laughs> and we won't tell Chad. Mm. Yeah.
Yeah, and we won't tell Jack. He's gonna be 6'4, 200 pounds of the right stuff. Three days late. Oh my gosh, three days. One day until Winchester House. Nice. Oh! Oh, no! The hell? No, no. What the hell, man? You good? What are you doing? A stool fell out! Andrew, look! You see? Yeah. Oh, we have to go back to Vegas. Andrew, we have to find it. I thought you were like hurt. No! I'm always screaming like that. What's gone into you? Okay, Andrew, welcome to my home. <laughs> Why do I say that to you as if you don't kind of live here like a little bit? Yeah. Let me just say one thing. Stay focused right here, Andrew, because there's something over here that you cannot see. You can't. No, Andrew! It is covered up anyway. So you just get out of here. I'm kicking you out for once and for all. This is supposed to be a big thing that I'm doing for the for myself and the channel moving forward and haunted content, and you can't see it. You're gonna ruin the surprise, Andrew. Ah! Sam! Wait, is that Sam or Colby? That's Colby. Oh, Colby! Look at the hair! I never did take them down. I thought about taking them down, and then they kind of grew on me. Not in a weird way, a little bit in a weird way. I'll be back in a moment, okay? Oh, no, what have you done? Did you push him? No. Sam's been a good boy, but Colby's been acting up, I will admit. All right, stay there. This is gonna change everything. Okay, and Film from the doorway so it's like a grand entrance because this new thing is coming into our lives, okay? So is it cool looking? N not really. Uh, that is a piece of tortilla. Okay, you ready? Sure. Okay. Okay, no, I messed it up. Okay, hang on. Because I'm, I'm gonna whip it off and it's gonna be really cool. Andrew, I stayed up all night. I haven't slept a wink to try to perfect this. You ready? Uh, yeah. Okay. Presenting! Well, I don't really know what it's called yet. Something like it's a working title. I would actually look for some suggestions in the comments. I'm thinking Spooky Box will figure it out. Presenting! Presenting the pending title. The Spooky Box! Ah! Wait, sorry. It got caught. Okay. Presenting! Hang on. I... Presenting! Is it like it looks like it's moving on its own? Like no. it's kind of haunted? No. Presenting the Spooky Box! <laughs> Imagine it's all these cra this crazy music. Like... <laughs> And it's all these crazy angles. Yeah, I can try to get it. with power. Yeah, yeah. You see? Oh, I've been working on this for so long, Andrew. Gone are the days of sloppy Garrett. Oh, where's my ghost hunting device? Oh, where's my crystal? That's the pair Garrett of the past. I almost said paired of the past. Imagine. Okay, everything's yeah. gonna change now. I'm gonna start to take my job as a as a spooky adventurer way more seriously, Andrew. We've been talking about this. You understand? Yeah. Okay, so this is gonna come with us on spooky adventures now, and I have pre-packed it with everything you could ever imagine in your brain. You know how before I I would run around and I'd grab a bunch of things and be unprepared because I hadn't slept the night before and stuff like that. Yeah. Well, that hasn't really changed. Right. But now it's all in a box. <laughs> oh, I see. Yes, yeah, so we can just take it with us wherever we go. Oh, and did it look? Did you look at oh. that? Oh, you're like a doctor from like the 90s. That's what I'm going for. And I I'm ready see. for anything. No, I get it. This is sick. I've got it. I think I've got a, a ghoul in my house who's a woman who keeps on knocking over my two daughters. I show up. Right. Spooky box pending title. Oh, and I was gonna do a whole like anime intro with it, and I was gonna be like, you know, presenting the spooky box! But I didn't put the green screen up. Nah, the I'm glad you didn't do that. Because it would have freaked you out? Yeah, it'd have been loud. I And I already screamed because the because of the missing gem. Um, <laughs> are you ready? Uh, yeah, no, I'm all packed and ready to go. Oh my god, I will be packed sooner. Just give me five minutes. And one thing at a time, I can only be so prepared. After all those things that Sam and Colby told us, and now with this, we're going to be unstoppable. We're going to figure out the mystery to the Winchester house. I was working on that line all night. Yeah. Did it sound cool? Yeah, yeah. Okay, you ready for a road trip? Yeah, sure. Okay. Okay. Do you have my keys? <laughs> Sam and Colby. Sam, yeah, of course. Ah! They're all. Awesome. Oh no, Sam! He's done this before. So I figured that we could just bring him with us. I wouldn't bring out that. Oh, Andrew! We could send him up in the Winchester house. Yeah, what would that? What purpose would that serve? I don't think they would be there with us. Oh, he's already falling apart. <gasps> Let me negotiate. Just Sam. 
It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. I'll leave. Whoa. Okay, I'll leave. Oh, God. Andrew! Colby! <laughs> we'll be fine with whatever I have in the box. Let's get on the road. I got this hotel room. <laughs> Dude, my neighbors. Can you imagine what they say about me? I think that guy is calling the cops. Oh God, but he's probably just calling it on that, but I've told him several times. I've gone around to all my neighbors and I've told them that mother is not real. I have, I've told, no, I, I, I should probably get my life together when we get on the road because we have a six hour drive. Ah! <laughs> Come here, Sam. Help me. Okay. I'm ready. Oh, no, I've got my, my, I need to find my keys. Just give me, I'll, I'll, I'll be ready. Hold me! Come on! I'm ready! Winchester House, here we come! Do you mind if I call you on FaceTime? On the West Coast, so it's late night. Okay, I'm gonna sing you a bunch of Taylor Swift songs. I'm just really excited she's releasing 1989. <laughs> this weird new personality. <laughs> this guy has been going non-stop since the beginning of this video with jokes. Oh my good golly. I'm just kidding. I got days to do, talking me plus sure. I got days to do, talking me plus sure. I got days to do, talking me plus sure. I got days to do. Talking me plus sure Only if you say so Only if you say so Only if you say so <laughs> This literally, I'm not even kidding you, this might be like the most boring drive in the world. No, it's cool. No, that's pretty cool. Look, there's a space between those trees. I can't. There's, um... Ooh, you see that car that went by? It's just dry grass. There you go. Three hours to go. No, Andrew, we have four and a half. That's miserable. I got do, talking me plus sure. I got days to do, talking me plus sure. I got days to do, talking me plus sure. I got days to do, talking me plus sure. Come on, 100,000 children. Time for the weirdest, most heartbreaking film trip ever. <laughs> We're going to see, and they all say it, this, all the kids at the same, the dry grass, the dry grass. <laughs> Who invited the ants? Do you hear me, Andrew? I was like, when you were looking at those big mounds of dirt that looked like ant hills, I was like, hmm, who invited the ants? Oh, oh. Okay, he must be in one of those Vin Diesel movies. Get out the way. Who got a watch? Who got the time? I'm raising the clock. Even in my feelings, grind don't stop. Got big dreams, want big ones. Uh, I don't want to do this. Let's go back to Los Angeles. I'm about handling my business. No time for stress over bullshit. You think success is an option? I'm trying to get this popping like woo. All right. I am definitely not supposed to turn here. No. Uh, San Jose. Go ahead. Figure it out. Just figure it out. Now's my chance. Oh! Yo, I see it, man. Oh, this sign. Oh, yeah. Open. Winchester Mystery House. To your left. And then we put a scary sound right here. Oh. It freaks out. That's kind of far away. <laughs> There's like so many lights around it, too. It's like, like the least scary thing is driving in the world. It's like, also like a cheesecake factory. <laughs> Well, probably a haunted cheesecake factory if it's that close to the Winchester Mansion. I don't, I'm trying. <laughs> Wait, did you say haunted cheesecake factory? <laughs> <laughs> oh, I used to work at the cheesecake factory. It wasn't that long, I got fired. Um, where am I? I don't know, I don't know where I am. Wait, what the hell? You're just supposed to wait for like there to be no foot traffic right now? What is this? This is gonna take hours. I don't know why I chose this place. I just chose a hotel. Uh, there's no rules here. Dude, what the hell is going on? I'm gonna freak out. Or I'm gonna, no, I don't know what I'll do. No one's ever gonna let you go. I just want some pizza. That's all I want. Wow, seems like we chose a pretty chill place. God, dude, they're, they're, I'm getting stressed watching them drive through all that traffic. I, I, oh, I'm such a stressful driver. Oh my good golly, this is a long fucking video. And I'm enjoying it, don't get me wrong, but man, two hours and almost 30 minutes. I'm gonna start crying. I wanna break down and scream at like seven people and then cry. Do it. Yeah. But I'm okay. Oh.
after we checked in, I realized something devastating. I don't want to film right now. I've already ruined it all. Ugh. I've ruined the whole video. God. Ugh. I messed it up. I really did. I'm so mad at myself. I could puke all over this bed. It's too expensive. Watch me. Oh, yeah. You got your credit card on file. I know. I'll get the pillow. I can't see. Yeah. I okay, see. sorry. I should just come out and say it. You know the box that I had? The magical spooky box. box. It's a working yeah, it's title. Good. Sorry. I threw some things in there, and I was like, "Oh, it's not all gonna fit in here. I'm gonna like finagle it tonight and kind of get it all perfect." Deal with the Winchester house. God, I'm so mad at myself right now. I had this huge bag of all my supplies, and I left it at the house in my excitement when I was trying to get Sam and Colby. And look, Andrew, what's worse? Since I'm the king of security, I put a security camera in my house whenever I leave town. And look, that's the entire bag of all the stuff I was gonna put in the spooky box in order to be well prepared for the house. Well, I didn't see it. It looks like a pillow, but you see that? That whole bag is full to the brim of ghost supplies. Everything I was going to decorate the box with, including oh, no. the teddy bear who was wearing the heart of the ocean around his neck. <laughs> oh, I'm so mad at myself. The last video I did, which, you know, when I went into my apartment again, the haunted apartment, I was like, oh, I'm unprepared, and I had to improvise then. Now I have to improvise again. <laughs> You see, it looks like a couch I mean, cushion. See I see I know, it. Dude, it's like it, literally the same color. That's why it got me. And it was blending into the couch like it's some sort of chameleon reptile on a branch waiting to not get eaten. Mm. That's cursed. Oh. Wait, I don't get it. I thought you were supposed to put everything in the spooky I box. I did. Okay, here's the good news. I put a lot of stuff in the box, which is good, but I don't have, like, the ghost detector's not in there, the flashlight's not in there, my headlamp isn't in there. Ugh. I thought that was the whole point of the box. Put everything in the box, it everybody was the bring the box, the box. everything in the box. It fit the box, because the, 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 the teddy bear was too big, because there were too many supplies. And then I had a bunch of other ideas, and I was like, oh, some things won't make the cut of, like, the perfect spooky box. So I brought a huge extra bag. I don't think the spooky box is supposed to be this complicated. It's not supposed to be. Here I am, in the city, with one of the most haunted houses in, are you the world and I don't even have my ghost detector? Oh, what kind of ghost hunter am I? Work in progress. Also, this <laughs> hotel that you booked is in a really noisy area. I'm so mad. <laughs> also, I literally think I broke my nose. I landed on my phone just now. It's yeah, up. it's really red. I opened the balcony. Have you seen this yet, Andrew? Look, there's no privacy and there's kids playing down there and they're screaming about probably cartoons or something. Oh. I don't know, Andrew. The more I think about it, all these things are going wrong. What if this video's cursed? What if something doesn't want us to come into the Winchester house? Colby was right. We're probably gonna die in there. Dude, and right before we left, something fell from the sky and shattered my windshield out of nowhere. Okay, the most dramatic thing that happened today. We walked out when we were getting ready to go. Andrew goes, what the hell, dude? And I looked over. His windshield was shattered by a pine cone. We think. Uh, yeah. <laughs> a fucking pine cone. Oh my god, though. That thing was... Andrew, something broke your windshield. Something made me forget the most important bag. Couldn't have been my own mind. Right, definitely was not that. <laughs> the balcony's practically unusable. What if Whoa. someone tries to look at my legs? You know I'm self-conscious about those. What's up? Oh, I said, what if I? What if it's too noisy out there? Oh, also Vegas. Vegas was haunted. Dude, what's happening with this video? And that, it's not helping that that lamp looks like a bones. And I know it, it doesn't help that I've never wanted pizza more in my life. We haven't eaten in so long. We had, what, one Lunchable in the- I'm fucking ordering pizza tonight, now that he mentioned that. Dude, at first he was eating pizza earlier and that made me hungry, and now he's talking about it again. Car and one sip of water? You know wait, what, though? My wait, wait. There was no Oreables in that Lunchable. Oh my gosh. <laughs> wait! Dude, that's, that's fucking unforgivable. Really is. is this the Winchester house dude, doing this also, to us? <gasps> what if Sam and Colby want to get rid of the competition? <gasps> Do you ever remember one of them cursing you? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Dude, also, I do have the, uh... I wrote down every single thing that Sam and Colby oh. told you. I figured you'd forget it. You are so smart! Yeah. You might have saved this whole video! Everything they said to look out for the most scariest places. What was the most important thing that you left behind, anyway? I had two magnifying glasses for us to investigate the, well, the mystery house. I feel like that's okay that you left that. Well, I had two wands okay, in there so you as well. Need... Dude, we're in the same city that one of the most haunted houses in America is. Who's to say that there's not a store that sells ghost supplies that's local and who sells ghost supplies? Right. Who cares that I left behind everything that I prepared for this video in a bag? Oh, I'm so mad at myself. This is over. 
No, I'm fine. <laughs> the hotel phone is gonna ring. We've had complaints. <laughs> oh my gosh, we're hearing something that sounds like a boulder <laughs> smashing into the floor over and over and over. Okay, new plan. You got one of the most important things, which is the essential information that we got from Sam and Colby. And then tomorrow morning I'll set off, I'll find some things. I still have my box. I'm fine. I'm gonna do something radical. I don't know what it is yet, but I'm gonna make sure that I never forget something this important again. Oh, like get a dedicated box called the spooky box that you put everything in, then you bring that and you don't have to worry about forgetting anything. Oh wait, you did that kind of. Don't remind me of my failures, Andrew! God, this room is so expensive. And for what? Kids screaming about their needs. <laughs> There's also the bathtub in there. I thought it was going to be like a luxury. Okay, bathroom door. Oh, no, it's not much. It'll cheer me up. Well, it won't. I said you wanted to take a bath in the jacuzzi and look. Look at that. <laughs> Dude, like one of my legs doesn't even fit. I know. I need a win. I know. I need to go find a pepperoni pizza and ask for a whole bunch of cheese on it. <laughs> I can't handle it. Twenty dollars for a bottle of water? <laughs> That's fuck. No. <laughs> This is the Winchester house. I have a theory. It just expanded or something. I'm telling you, this is the real horror is the city of San Jose. <laughs> Track San Jose. Yes, I can. <laughs> Watching SNL clips. Now, this sketch is funny. What are you filming? Well, I don't know. This is our last night before we go to the Winchester house. Huh? Dude, you giving happy energy right now for the Winchester experience? Sam and Colby told us we'd die in there. I've been tempted like, to look up a bunch of photos and stuff. I don't want to see anything about it. I want to go into it just like the architect, Sarah. Just how she intended. Just like a lost spirit making my way. Yeah, it'd be kind of pointless to look it up now, seeing that you're only like less than a day away from it. Yeah. Ooh, what if we get lost in there and we can't survive? It's actually pretty crazy to think about this. It'd make for they a very, it would make for a very entertaining video. We've done. From seeing Sam and Colby in Vegas, coordinating that, going demon mode, having a crazy time, coming back, getting ready, me making the spooky box, ah. forgetting the ingredients, you getting your car window smashed in by a pine cone. What have we been? Distracted. We've had a lot on our plates. That's true. But at the end of the day, you and I are gonna spend. Did you hear that? What? I'm hearing a ghoul's whisper. What was that whispering ghoul? Dude, just what I... Wait, how are we supposed to go to the Winchester house when we're kind of scared in a kind of bougie hotel? Listen to this. You and I, haunted makeup studio, haunted ice cream parlor. <laughs> I like to go into places that are a little bit more like lesser known and stuff. We've never, ever, ever gone into a place like this. Like a famous, historically haunted by hundreds of... Sam and Colby, the goats, literally went in there and was like, this is the most haunted place ever. Can you believe you and I in a, in a, in a world famous haunted location? Are you getting the chills to think about it? Yeah, no, I'm scared. <laughs> Wait till you're... I tried to give it like the most important button. Wait till you're in the Winchester Mystery House. <laughs> that was pretty good. Ooh, really? I'll try it again. I like mess up the title when I say it. <laughs> oh, yeah. Wait till you get into the Winton's mystery. <laughs> it's like not even that close. No, for real though. I use, uh, you know, comedy as a little device to like not be so freaked out. So what's out? Where are you going to go to get st a lot of people do that, man. A lot of people fucking do that anymore. And which no, well, not anymore. People have always used uh, comedy to kind of break away from the the grasp of like being actually afraid of something. And I I've gotten more comfortable with it lately. I've gotten I mean at first when I started watching Paranormal Investigations and maybe it was just because I grew up on Ghost Adventures and Ghost Hunters and stuff. You no, know, there was humor, but there wasn't really the the forefront of an investigation when I was growing up watching investigations. So to like have YouTubers like cracking jokes every five seconds is something that I just wasn't used to. And I think that's why I was so harsh on Sam and Colby in the beginning was because it was just a lot of humor. And uh, some humor works, some humor doesn't. I still stand by that. But uh, at the end of the day, I've gotten way more comfortable. Let's go ahead and finish this. Dude, this is 
we're just gonna have to like actually sit down. This is we're literally an hour into this video. I almost could have just skipped the first entire hour, but I feel like I would not have gotten an idea of who this guy is. I feel like I've gotten more than enough of an idea of who this guy is. Stuff like I mean, we actually need Best Buy. <laughs> Weird. Weird. No. <laughs> what do you mean, where am I going to go? Best Buy, the place that has everything when you need it, when you want it. <laughs> Wait, you should look on your phone. Look up there to see if there's a... <gasps> That's such a good idea. Dude, this is why I keep you around. <laughs> Ew, weird. <laughs> oh, I'm asking artificial intelligence. What's the mystery of the Winchester house? I'm the one who broke Andrew's windshield. I dropped the phone. Oh my gosh. Okay, I actually have a question though. Does it have water slides? Well, what if, it, what if it was like so not what we expected? Like because we've kind of like put up this willful ignorance of the yeah. place. Like we get in there and it's just like there's like four Chipotle's. Yeah, it's so busy. It's so busy and bright. We're just like what? We're trying a new water park angle. What? <laughs> like so many kids. Move away, old man. You think they sell ghost detectors at Walmart? I'm not, yeah. <laughs> Andrew, I've had to do this before. I will improvise like, and I say that H word. I'll put in ghost supplies and just see what happens. There's a spirit Halloween about 30 miles from here. Fuck yeah. <laughs> NorCal Hobbies, Andrew. Look, these kiddos can help us. <laughs> <laughs> They're in front of a racetrack. They might know. <laughs> Witches, costumes, and wigs. <laughs> you can't find a ghost detector, but you can find a silly wig. <laughs> oh my God. The ghosts are just like, <laughs> Oh. <laughs> Nordstrom. <laughs> Going into Nordstrom. <laughs> Hi, can I get you? Ooh, we're thinking a nice cologne today? Actually, point me to the Ouija board section. <laughs> Maybe the container store. <laughs> Everyone reviewing the video, it's literally just him on like Yelp. <laughs> Dude, there's no ghost supply stores? <sighs> Andrew, okay, think about this. What? Dang near the same moment a freaking scary heavy pine cone came down and smashed your ceiling is probably the same moment that I forgot about the bag. That sounds like the work of a gore ghost to me. That's actually really scary, and I just got the chills thinking about it. That they want us to go in, like, unprepared. Oh, no, Andrew! I had, like, protective stuff. Stop. Oh, my gosh. There, I had, like, crystals and, like, salt. Dude, think about that. Ew! Is there cell service? I'm not getting cell service. Dude, I'm not getting service in here either. And everybody said, from the girl at the mystery house to Sam and Colby, you're gonna need a map. You're gonna need to stay together. You're gonna get lost in there. If we don't have any cell service, <gasps> what if we don't got... Any technology? What if we? And, what and if, the and, ghouls are and and and, and you. <laughs> um, I mean, we each carry a, a piece of thread that's long. And we, and we, I'm not gonna go in there as analog as you think. I'm gonna rush around tomorrow. I'll go into Best Buy. I saw a Cheesecake Factory. I don't think the Cheesecake Factory's gonna have anything for you in there. They'll have something. They'll have something. Yeah, cheesecake. Well, I'll get some of that. We'll figure it out. We told the people over there that we should be getting there around dusk. Is that when night happens? Dusk is the evening. I can't do math and I can't differentiate dawn from dusk and I will never know how to spell the word restaurant. You know what's actually kind of exciting is I- Oh, that is relatable, man. That is so relatable. Every time I type in the word restaurant, I'm always looking for the autocorrect thing so I can click on the how, how to spell it. I need to see because I forgot what I put in the spooky box. What did I put in there? It's complicated right now. We need to figure out the spooky box thing. What's in it? When do you bring it with you? It's not even with you right now. <laughs> no, it's in a truck, which I'm not even sure if I locked up. <laughs> but watch be watch be Sam and Colby tied up. Yeah, that's the plan, Andrew. I'm gonna beef it up as much as possible. So you might have some stuff in there. I might have some, no, no, I know I have stuff in there. I haven't slept a wink because I'm trying to perfect this. Oh. But I have a lot of stuff in the bag. Oh, and then we're gonna get there around dusk. Right as night falls. Mm -hmm. Not during the day, with light spilling through the windows, but at night, with a different kind of light spilling through the windows. Moonlight. <laughs> Sir. <laughs> like a wolf howling, like a werewolf under that line. Like, everyone like, what is this? <laughs> it's like a, like, how haunted by ghosts, not werewolves, right? <laughs> I have, like, such a vast misunderstanding of what this house is. I hope there's not mummies in it. <laughs> <laughs> What? Well, there could be mummies in there. Okay, that freaked me out what you just said. And vampires, honestly. And the vampires, yeah. All right, well, that'll be the plan. <laughs> Andrew, what did you just react to? What's it? You just said, oh my God, what? Yeah, it's like. What? You're freaking me out. This place, man. What's happening over there? Literally, you know, like a, a chain link fence? That's what this is. I'm literally, I lie back. I can like feel every single coil digging up. I literally. Weird commercial for this hotel. <laughs> Mike, just here's the phone, you're gonna help this is funny. That is so funny. It's so bad. You can sleep in that one with me. 
I said to put on white noise if I snore, which I don't. You're a manipulative liar. The, sorry. He said I snored once. I didn't say you snored once. You do snore every time you get the opportunity. Yeah, and you literally caught me in 4K. Andrew, this is a king bed. I'll stay on this side, and you be on that side. That's easy. That's the, that's the solution. <laughs> Eight hours. It's time. It's time for me to go back to bed. <laughs> they have to be the noisiest fucking neighbors, man. Oh my god. Yikes. <laughs> I know, I hate it. You know what? You know what? Take this. Take this. Take this. Oh my god. Oh, Send the kids screaming. Winchester, help me to figure out the mystery. Don't talk to me until I've had my copy. Not a word until I've had my copy. <laughs> Crazy, right? Yeah. Oh, he's coming back right now. And you're forgiven for you're forgiven for forgetting the bag. Anyone can make such a mistake. Did you hear that? Hey, Yoda. <laughs> what? So the bird sounded like. Andrew, I see a coffee place that looks real good. Oh. All right, Andrew, stop horsing around. Dusk will be falling before we know it, and we'll be standing in front of the Winchester house all alone at nighttime, and we actually need to go find ghost hunting supplies right now, so let's lock it down, okay? I mean, I'm ready to go. I got my... You look like this. It takes time for a boy to get ready in the morning. <laughs> I, I'm going to go to put some clothes on. Oh, uh, shit. We went uh, to my truck to see what exactly I had the spooky... Oh, in the spooky box? Gotcha. Gotcha. People know that you brought it with you like did you put this like no 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 no. someone stole it from my truck they literally stole it dude oh my god How, wait was this not locked i don't understand did they pry this open they might have found a way to yeah i'm pretty sure that was locked oh my god what was okay are you serious right now dude he stole it. Is it. Yeah, is everything else in there? Yeah, Holy's arm is in here. Sam's head. Dude. They, have they stole it. Wait, what the f though? Why would they even steal that? They opened it up and they saw that giant thing in there. What is this? This is cr criminal. They stole it. Someone stole my, 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 my spooky box. Wait, so... Oh my god, what was in that? Oh, there was so much cool stuff in that. Oh no, this is real sadness. This is real sadness. Oh my god. Dude! Do you see the pieces of it? No. Well, you know what honestly pisses me off the most is like, I don't remember what was in that. Dude, I think... Wow, dude, like his whole fucking uh, attitude just changed right here. That fucking sucks. I really do feel bad. 
<sighs> go through all that and just somebody walks up and just breaks open into your truck and steals your shit. Oh, gosh. That's unfortunate. That is unfortunate. My favorite bone was in there. Rest in peace. Yeah, they definitely didn't get in the truck. I feel so violated. Dude. Oh. All right, I'm going to go talk to someone, I guess. Security, let's go ask. Dude, maybe you never know. Maybe they were like, we caught someone. I don't know. No, that's not This crazy. is like a cursed video. I can hear people in the comments being like, someone's trying to protect you guys or like stay out of there or something. Wait, so how did they, I don't get it. So they just pried it open. No, I bluntly just think that is a like just some fucking thief walked up and just stole your shit. That's un I'm really dude. I'm I'm deeply sorry to see this. This fucking does suck. Cause like first you know they forget the bag, which was no big deal, and then they had some equipment inside their truck, and now someone steals their fucking their bo like their spooky box, right? That's that really does suck. That actually is like a fear now. That I, I'm actually gonna have to take that into consideration if I ever start doing paranormal investigations. Make sure I have like a good lock on my vehicle or something. So people don't just walk up and take whatever's in there. Or maybe at least take the stuff with me inside. That's what we normally did when we were at, like, uh, when we went on the Texas trip. We would actually take everything with us inside and not leave anything out in the vehicle because we were too worried that someone was going to see it in the window and just break in and take it. Anything can happen. Is your car messed up? No, no, no. It's not messed up. Listen, I'll admit there's a world where maybe I locked the cab and not the back. Small chance this part could have been unlocked. <laughs> yeah, it's in a truck, which I'm not even sure if I locked up. Uh, Wait, let's so just... Uh, okay. Okay. So it was a mistake. It was an accident. Uh, well, that's why it's hard to trust people, people, man. That's, that's what do you actually think was in there though before? Like uh, everything you... for the no scared room. Oh my God, man. Cool. Like detection devices. Holy water guns. Dude, it was packed to the brim. Let's go talk to security. I don't even it, maybe. get it. It's a giant thing. So this, you lugged it out. Play the clip of you lugging it outside. It's Let not me this... play the clip of me lugging it outside. Yes, I was upset about the bag, but this is like a whole other level. I'm a new security guard. My job actually right now is being a security guard for a factory. And I got to tell you, just even hearing about this is almost actually it hits me differently because now I'm a security guard. I would love to just say, hey, man, I wish I, you know, kept an ear out and eye out. But shit happens, you know, that that fucking sucks, guys. I'm sorry. I see this. Something stolen from me. Dude, I can't believe it. Let's go talk to security yeah. and just see. All right. All right. But was it literally just that back there? There was yeah, literally nothing, nothing else. That's that one thing. Literally just that one thing. I wish I had to film, like, what I was putting in the box. Thank you. Dude, can you imagine how cinematic it would be if I saw the box in there and they had, like, a guy apprehended who was in, like, a striped, like, criminal costume? It's Sammy Colby. Oh my gosh! <laughs> Security said this happened to them and the filing of, uh, fi filing a police report was all we could really do. Yeah, there was not much they could do, especially... That's crazy, though. They had no cameras. Just a bunch of bottles. Uh, we just do a lap at the parking garage. This way, I think. If I was a criminal, what would I do? Andrew, I'm the furthest thing from a criminal. Well, there was that one time that you, uh... Um, he basically just said, yeah, I can file a police report, and then he, kind of his energy was like, that's San Jose for you. And yeah, just what the hell? Stealing, like, precious, sentimental, cool things. I'm on edge now. Between the damn broken windshield, stolen suitcase, I feel like anything's possible now. I can't believe it, man. I got nothing against San Jose, but they're not really leaving a good impression. <laughs> like, I just find this video alone. Like, everything that's gone seriously wrong has gone wrong in this city. Uh, fucking smashed windshield, and it's like almost they have like someone has a vendetta against them or something. I'm almost shocked. It just means that I'm gonna make it better than ever. I'm gonna have to get another one. And ha! Ah! Um, do you know I almost put Benjamin in that box? Whew. Dude, that would are been... you kidding? It would. That I was hoping that I would have. Oh. We would have had our box back in one hour with like a human head in it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. With, Maybe like, some money and like a, a lot of money, Andrew, from like a, another time. Some criminal on that bus right now. Bye. He's holding up the box. I'm like, no, stop that bus. <laughs> this sucks, man. I'm Listen, all right. Andrew, is there any place locally that you think we could go to find anything that we can get our hands on to help us tonight in one of the most haunted houses ever? Pet store. Pet store, cat right. balls. I mean. Might be your best bet.
that's gonna be me when I find the person who stole my spooky box. If we saw that tonight in the Winchester house, like this place is really scary. <laughs> you're like so annoyed and tired that you don't want to actually go to the Winchester house, so you just pretend this is the Winchester house. <laughs> Whoa, this place is creepier than I thought. Here lies Cerebrus. Who was that? Everyone's just like, Garrett, that's very clearly not the. Whoa! <laughs> Right. I don't think they have like ghost hunting supplies here. I mean, clearly not. Then what do you call that? Why did you just take that off? Who's that for something? Uh, dude, I almost lost you in Spirit Halloween. How are we gonna have a Winchester house? I think Spirit Halloween is for costumes. Yeah, told you that three times. <laughs> yeah, I think someone needs a chiropractor. <laughs> They kick us out. Get out. Andrew, what is this? Life-size replica proton pack? Do you think it really does it? No. Well, I mean, I know it looks like a toy, but look at that. I can't just walk away from this. I have nothing. I don't think you should buy that. Really? It's like a costume. He's going to buy it. nothing. I'm desperate. Oh. Okay, 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 okay. You're right, you're right, you're right. It's desperation speaking. I'm not going to buy it. I'm not going to buy it. So can you imagine a world where like, okay, so they said there's a- That thing is pretty dope though. I would have probably bought it too. That is pretty cool looking. A, a, a really scary entity in the Winchester house who's up to no good. And then he says something really scary. Give me a scary line and I'll do, I'll be what I'll be in there. Get out of my house. <laughs> you really think this is your house? <laughs> Not anymore, Buster Peas. <laughs> I'm still wondering what this actually does. Well, it's I, just... I told you my theory on it. This was very expensive, so I assume they put an EMF detector in this, like maybe at the front. Look, right here, there's gonna be one, I'm certain. I'll oh, test it. EMF detectors go off near outlets. It'll, it'll be boop, 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 boop. EMF stand for? Electromagnetic frequencies. It's what detects ghosts, and there's gotta be one in here, okay? There's an outlet right there, and we're just gonna test it to make sure that it is an EMF detector, as well as a cool looking thing. Okay, let's hear a beep. Let me just, maybe I won't take it into the Winchester house if it's not an EMF detector. Because they don't, maybe the ghosts won't take me as seriously with it. Can you help me put it on the thing? So it's actually really hard to work. Just, oh wait, no, did it fall off? Dude, it did. Dude, did it what really? the hell? Did what? it break? This thing Where is, is it? Oh, oh no, it's on the floor. This thing is very, very light. This is $25. I think you spent too much on it. Did you say $25, Andrew? No, it was $250. Oh. But it, but it, but it, but it makes a sound. Did you hear that? I kept the receipt, right? <laughs> no, I threw it away with the subway. Oh no, the subway was so good though. That's fine. No longer is the Garrett that you saw earlier in this video around anymore. The defeated, sulking, woe is me Garrett. No, 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 I pulled myself up by my bootstraps and guess what, Andrew? Well, you were with me the whole time, so you know, but I'm telling the people watching, we got new equipment. Look, yeah. we got the subway in our, in, our, in our bellies like that, and that was really good. But then we found the best buy, so that, oh, that's cool. nice. So we're not completely empty handed. Thank goodness. Look what we got. Item number one, most important, headlamp. Probably an upgrade from the last one, if I'm being completely honest with you. Look at what it does. Oh, Garrett, I don't think that's gonna be enough light in there. Busted, beetle brain. Look at that. Gee. Uh, yeah. I'm feeling oh. a bit scared. Good thing I've got this on my waist side. Yeah, I think that'll be enough light. Oh, yeah. Well, what, Garrett, you're gonna go into the Winchester house without a flashlight? Looks like you're wrong. And look, telescoping technology. Get it on the wall. <laughs> practically some sort of ghost sniper. Well, it's time to get next level. I mean, listen, to be honest, my entire spooky box was next level. That was the whole point of it, but that's gone for me because it was stolen from me by a scumbag, but I'm no longer angry about that. I'm feeling fine. There's a next level thing right here. Andrew, we take Polaroids in there with an analog, old school style camera. We're feeling a little bit of a vibe. We put it up, take a photo, and then what if we get one of us? And we post it on Instagram. But the most important thing 
was acquired not so long ago. What? Oh. Oh no, this fell off. Oh, I hope. Oh, oh god. Oh. No, 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 no. Those are the keys to the Winchester house. They trusted me with these. Let me get this straight. You're handing Andrew and I the keys to maybe the most haunted location in America? I absolutely am. You have made a huge mistake. <laughs> have you seen any keys on the floor? Dude. Dude, we're already an hour and 17 minutes into this, and we have not seen the Winchester house yet. What if you drop the key and we can't get in there? I won't drop the keys again. The very keys to the Winchester house entrusted to me. Can you believe it? Literally, no, I can't believe it. Isn't that insane? Those are the ones. Also, I drink uh, two energy drinks in a row. Oh, get out of here, move my way. Would you? Look, you know me, big fan of snacks. Look at this. Whoa. We got oh. this to go into there with. I'm feeling like I want some garlic butter crackers. Taken care of. Fruit for the floor. Taken care of. One Lunchable. Sorry, I didn't get two. Taken care of. The hell? Caribro gummy bears. And then, even though I already drank two in a row, two energy drinks for us. Cool. Yeah? <sighs> okay, so I feel like the last how long has it been, Andrew? This is several hours, basically, since I got the shock of learning that the box got stolen from the truck. I have been incredibly frantic trying to piece together equipment to get in there, right? <sighs> and it's feeling very, very, very real now. Um, the reality is actually starting to settle in that we are going to be going into the Winchester house, you and I overnight. We've been warned that we will get lost in there, that it's one of the scariest places ever, according to Sam. There's so many things at the top of my brain. We're going to be in there in about 30 minutes. I'm going to suit up and we're going to get ready to go. Hell yeah, man. <clears throat> Sorry, the energy drink's coming back. Yeah, I know. God. Oh, oh. it was Sour Patch Kids flavor. <sighs> How's the 7-Eleven thing look? Good? Okay. Does my hair look stupid? You're wearing a hat. <coughs> okay. We just have to get there because we have to get there with enough daylight they, they to see it. I, I, I... You're sure I shouldn't take that? That's the most important thing. You've got to leave the most important thing for last. Oh. Okay. Don't let me leave this in there because I found the Lunchables in, my, in one of my backpacks. It was Kind of like uh, what you did with the bag at your own house and how you left it there? At least two years old. It smelled that pretty bad. Um, the keys. Where'd you go? The oh, keys, keys to the Winchester house <laughs> behind the Ritz crackers. <laughs> okay, I'll keep these in a really, 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 really safe pocket. Hang on. I, I think that. Uh, that pocket's broken. Okay, right behind the gummy bears. <sighs> What are these, the drums of liberation? Are they done with it? No, 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 no. What? Did you fall asleep? Here, no. Oh, don't do it. I'm hungry, though, and I'm going to the Winchester house. I think we gotta get, I think, okay. I think we gotta get going, and that's broken. Okay, okay, fine, fine. Okay, listen. Just keep trying to build hype, just keep on repeating the same line. All right, let's go to the Winchester house. <laughs> so many times in there. Every time, like a really dramatic hit. Okay. Elevator's here. The elevator to the Winchester house. That button <laughs> takes us to our fate. The Winchester house. No, I know. Oh. <laughs> Already trying to make it scary. What was that? We're in an elevator. <laughs> Wait, who put that scratch there? I don't know. Probably some kids or something. Mm -hmm. I'll be the judge of that. <laughs> Boring video. Oh my god. It looks to me like someone's trying to get out of here. Huh? Maybe. Wow. Piece of furniture could have hit the side. Yeah. <laughs> Slow elevator. Yeah. We arrive at the Winchester house. We think. Nope. This looks like a restaurant. Wait, this isn't a restaurant? CJ Fridays, right? Wait. No, dude, that's like a chili dish. Winchester Mystery House. Maybe it gets scarier from another angle. Wait, guest parking? Alive dead or go alive guest? Oh, right. No, no, no. That's good. That's yeah. good. Entrance to what? Heck. Sorry, there's a uh, Volkswagen Ooh. behind you. <laughs> they honked their horn a little, didn't they? Oh yeah, two Volkswagens behind you. Actually. Yeah, hello. <laughs> <laughs> okay, like. 
Yeah, okay, I get it, okay? It's not an abandoned hospital. Maybe the real horrors are on the inside. Well, I think that's the whole point. Yeah, that's the whole point. Maybe it becomes a whole different house inside of the Winchester house. Look, 10,000 windows, 2,000 doors, 2,000 doors? Andrew, my place only has... Like three or four. Three or four? Um, that's crazy! Wait, I guess that is a little messed up that people... 160 rooms?! I'm sorry, what? <laughs> so I guess that is a little messed up because... People navigate that with like multiple tour guides and we're just like going in there. Andrew, they trust it. Where are the keys? Oh my god. Oh god. Gummy bears. Gummy bears. Behind the gummy bears? <gasps> There's still like people here though. Wait, yeah, like I... people getting in their cars? That wasn't scary at all. That was actually <laughs> funny. Like what? <laughs> Way funnier than I thought. Oh my god. I like the part with the cartoons. <laughs> they're like, guys, wait, what is this? I found the gate. Oh. And they're opening it for us somewhere. They're opening it. You see the cat? Oh, a black cat. It's literally not. <laughs> <laughs> I guess some people are still uh, leaving from like the final tour right now. And yeah. But dude, <laughs> stop! Stop! But dude, when we go in there, no one. Just you and me. Sorry, do you want do you want the bright palm trees behind you or did you want to move or... Oh yeah, no, just make sure the cheesecake factory, the bright palm trees, the okay. horns. <laughs> make sure that that's all behind me, because I really just want to set like a vibe here. <laughs> Who's that little laughing? Is it a goo 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 goo? Oh, oh, no. No, she's wearing like, like a lot. all forever. She's 21. wearing a lot of Lululemon. Yeah, oh my god. <laughs> she's holding a Lululemon bag. With like, it's like somehow lighting up. We're like, okay. <laughs> Look behind your legs. Look. <gasps> Aww. <gasps> oh my god. Are you a ghost or a cat? It bites me so hard. <laughs> the cat? Hmm. Smells like some Sam and Colby impersonated me. Oh my god! <laughs> it it it, clear, it says fraud. Like really, like clearly, I'm like, what is this all about? The sweet girls who work here, are like, sorry, he says the truth. I'm like, what is this? We're leaving. We're going back to like the haunted apartment to try to get that back or something. Oh my god! <laughs> the cat. Okay, bye. This is literally boring. <laughs> oh my god! The last couple of people are just leaving this place right now. But we got the keys. Let's take a look around while we have a little bit of daylight to see the outside. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> You're like closing it, trying to make this like intense moment. There's like a giant like building that clearly is like an app company that's like doing pretty well. Oh my god. Snapface.org. We're like, ew, that's a terrible title for an app. <laughs> Snapface.ai. Have you seen it? There's so many voices in the background. <laughs> <laughs> pretty scary. Sorry, the uh, sorry, Splunk is behind you. Hold on. <laughs> god, Andrew, stop. Okay, let's go around this way. See what we're in store for while we, we we just do something while we just wait for people to leave. We had about 30 minutes to kill while the employees were seeing out the final visitors for the day. Okay. So we explored the grounds at least to get some idea of what we were about to enter. A lot of Christmas lights up there. Oh no, really? Oh, yeah. <laughs> what is going on across the street? Dude, wait, this is cool! Andrew, this is cool! Mm, weird that a light on the Belmont should be blinking right across the street from the Winchester. Oh yeah, house. I already filmed that. Oh, okay. <laughs> Just have a couple gummy bears. Well. Isn't the Belmont Hotel actually a haunted location? If I'm, am I not mistaken? Oh jeez. No. I could be wrong about that. I feel like I've heard like there was a Belmont Hotel that was actually haunted. I'm having Haribo gummy bears outside. Or I'm just completely stupid. Out of the Winchester Mystery House. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Haribo gummy bear hall in front of the Winchester House. <laughs> what color? Oh, I got a rabbit green, I think. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> whoa, is you whoa, 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 whoa. Wait, are the girls in there? Whoa. Dude, this place is moving. It's fucking epic. That is so cool. The door, Andrew, on the side of the building. Oh, Jesus. If we walk through that, both our legs are broken. Oh, my God. Okay, I'll take a quick bath before we get in there. No, I don't know. No, no, no. <laughs> Dude, what? Can you put the lens up against that? Oh, yikes. Oh, my God. Scared the shit out of me, your reflection. Whoa, whoa. What? Wait, what am I looking at right now? Dude, we're gonna get so lost in here. No, we're not. I've got a great sense of direction. <laughs> yeah, we will. <laughs> whoa, 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 whoa. You put that whoa, pipe there. Whoa, whoa. Mm. Um, you, you really care about who put that there? Not yet, I don't. 
<laughs> fall, in the, fall in the pond. <laughs> it gets so complicated. If that water's going, but if that pipe is in the off position, then what's that? <laughs> like you know plumbing. Yeah. Oh, you going that way? Mystery house. I don't know where I'm going. What's this? Looks like some sort of wedding event center. <laughs> oh, yeah. Really nice. Those heaters look like they're from at least 2006. That's pretty old. <laughs> whoa. Wait, what? Whoa, 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 whoa. Where did that come from? Whoa, whoa, whoa. What is that? Dude, is wait. That wait, wait. Wait, <laughs> wait, what just happened? Are you experiencing what I'm experiencing I'm right now? I'm 100% experiencing what you're experiencing right now. Dude, that was not there. That You, you would have noticed it. What is that? A ghost. That's our by lighting. Wait, so what's the house and what's not the house? I don't know. Acting like I know a lot about this property. That's the old pump house. <laughs> oh yeah, dude. Is this the house too? Pump house. When I was editing, I couldn't stop watching this part over and over. Why? Something felt very unsettling about it, and I couldn't figure out what. I gotta put my glasses on. But I should have probably just had them on. I don't see a woman screaming. I I'm looking my best and it just looks like a bunch of... It's it's tough. It's tough. I, I think I see what he thinks is a woman screaming. But that shit... I mean, it's easy for that stuff to play... I Like, it plays tricks on you. I mean, I've seen it happen so many times. I I'm not sure if that's a woman screaming, but it was a good catch regardless. It's fair to point it out, at least. Dude, where does the house end? Oh, yeah, yeah. Whoa, whoa, whoa. What's that? that noise? Whoa, whoa, whoa. What did you see? I saw a person. No, you did not. I literally saw somebody. Listen, okay. listen, bro. I'm going to tell you what right like now. Like an actual person, though, right? Okay, <laughs> all right. <laughs> What's with that? All right. What the hell was Wait, that? What did you say you saw a person? No, I definitely saw a person. I actually saw a person. No, you I, mean saw, a person? I saw a human being. But what I'm saying is if it isn't a human being. Whoa! Step. The step is like, I'm literally a piece of wood. Leave me alone. <laughs> no, no, no. There was somebody. Are you messing with me? Dude, no. We're going to turn the corner. You're going to see somebody. And if not. That would be so funny. I didn't see what you're talking well, about. Well, like you waited way too long. Ooh. No. No, no, no. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Why is it? <laughs> not the QR code. Sorry. Andrew? <laughs> dude, no, 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 no. Dude, dude, sorry, I'm not even filming you. I'm literally looking around for that person. We could watch it back in the footage. I guarantee you there's a person walking over here. Whoa, whoa, whoa. What did you see? I saw a person. No, you did not. I literally saw somebody. Andrew, there's someone here. Look, it's all my girls. We're the only ones. The girls are, I think, on the side. Indeed. But what I'm saying. Oh, yeah, yeah. Whoa, whoa, whoa. What's that? What's that noise? Whoa, whoa, whoa. Hold on. They're right there. Whoa. What's that? What's that noise? Whoa, whoa, whoa. What did you see? I saw a person. No, you did not. I literally saw some bro, buddy. Listen, <laughs> listen, bro. I'm going to tell you some bro, buddy. Andrew. Barcode. Sorry. Andrew. <laughs> Dude. No, no, no. Some bro, buddy. Here. Whoa, whoa, whoa. It's so quick. It's so quick, but it looks like a guy with a shirt on and a hat. Maybe? Barcode. Sorry. Andrew? <laughs> dude, no, no, no. No, no, no. Are you dude, dude. Sorry, I'm not even filming you. I'm literally looking around for that person. Wait. We could watch it back in the footage. I guarantee you there's a person walking over here. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Okay, they're right here. Person. No, you did not. I literally saw some buddy. Okay, but why like I would have ran over there first thing. I would not have waited that long to go check. If I if I if it was something like I thought was a ghost, 
I would have went and checked, but it's probably no, it was probably an employee more than likely because the way they reacted to it, if it was something, you know, if they were off the property, I mean, they, they just said that the employees were getting everybody, you know, off the property and stuff for them to do their investigation. So I, I think it was an employee. Andrew, there's someone here. Look at all my stuff. We're the only one. The girls are, I think, on the side of the house. We were right there, right where I tripped, and I looked right here, and there was somebody. No, like a full-blown human being. A man. Wearing what? Black shirt, black pants. Was he alive? Well, I don't know. I think that's what we're trying to figure out. Did he look single? How would I know if he looked single from 100 feet away? Dude, yep, somebody right here. Oh, like yeah. Person. Yeah, like a human being. Hey, you. Hi. Hey, I was in. Just a human. <laughs> okay, yeah. right. Do you want to just send me a text so you can go home? <laughs> yeah. Okay. Can't say, oh, yeah, man, what else not chance? Ashley, was he uh, uh, alive? <laughs> <laughs> There's actually a theory that Omero is not alive. <laughs> <laughs> we had to get our final instructions before we left the uh where we left alone in the house. And during this we got to hear of a very unsettling story from the manager. So we're here in what is called the bridal annex, right? Uh, while people are still leaving, they're making sure all the uh, locks are checked, everything. We're getting our equipment ready, okay. Because we're going to be alone here very soon. Uh, what were you saying was something that happened in here? I was opening the house, and it was way before hours, and I looked down one of our longest hallways, and I saw a really tall gentleman kind of looking at me, and I snapped into my work mode. So I went, and I went to go check to say, hi, leave, and... I went and I checked and all the doors were locked, all the ropes were still up, and I ran through the entire house and I didn't find anyone. A couple hours later, once tours started, one of my guides called us saying, hey, I'm seeing this tall gentleman, maybe wearing a button up and a hat around this area called the back hallway. Same area I saw him. And my boss went through, checked the entire route, saw no one. A couple hours later, I walked the, through the house with someone and they said, oh, by the way, I'm a medium and down that hallway there, I see a tall gentleman wearing a button up and a hat and he's looking at us. And then um, I went home because I didn't want to be here anymore. <laughs> I got scared. Interesting. <laughs> It'll be so much fun for you. Wow, I cannot wait to see this place. Yeah. Thank you guys so much and thank you for leaving me the keys to this home. Yeah, have so much fun. It was Bye. a pleasure meeting you both. Nice to meet you. Bye. Bye. <laughs> Dude, I'm not loving the fact that Colby and her both literally said with Ew. no hesitation that they both saw a shadow figure with a hat on. A tall man of all things. How tall? Jesus. And like, yeah, what do you look like? Oh, I see. What? This is where... What? I'm scared. <sighs> I'm kidding, I'm kidding. No, you're not. <laughs> no, no, that's terrifying. At the end of a hall, just standing there. A shadow figure with a... If I see that, on. if I see that man, I don't care how old this house is, I'm gonna throw up in it. They also left us some stuff, like hard hats. Oh, nice. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Um, at this point, Andrew, we're gonna give them about. I think they said give us about 15 minutes just to clear the property, make sure everything's locked, and then it's just going to be you and I. So we'll give them a sec to clear out of here, and then we're gonna go inside the Winchester house. Sounds good, man. You got the key. Okay. I'll get the key. <laughs> <laughs> they really shouldn't have left me with these. I don't know. I don't know why they did that. Yeah, me Just us now. What'd they say? They're gone. They're cleared. Just you and I. They're coming back later, I think 1 a.m. to make sure that we're not dead. But it's just us. All right, so the next 40 minutes is finally them in the Winchester Mystery House. Oh, good. Andrew, when watch your step. They said, like, we had to sign, like, a waiver to get in here. Yeah, like, 25 waivers. Yeah, like, you could die. So, seriously, be careful. Okay. Sorry. I don't know why I'm telling you that. Like, I'm the one always hurting myself on accident. True. Oh, my. Sorry, I'm on it. <laughs> Whoa, shh. Andrew, what? Wow, really? What? Outside, not even inside, almost fell. 
Oh, oh, Andrew, scary! Well, not really. Ooh. You good? You break the door. Oh my gosh, it breaks off in my hand. <laughs> What's that? Um, you hear that? What's I hear? Probably the clock letting you know what time it is. Dude, I can't. It's so dark. This is the. What the hell? Only 30 seconds in, we hear crystal clear footsteps in front in the front room. It's so dark. This is the. Help. Why is this darker than any place I've ever been in my life? Oh, dude, what is that? What is that way? Where are we? I don't know. I thought it was a snack. Like, after an hour and a half of you being in here, maybe you have something. No, the front door is literally right there. You leave me alone. What the? You left me alone. Oh, I didn't. You walked away. You literally left me alone. You abandoned me. <laughs> Dude. <Hey>. Whoa. <laughs> <laughs> uh, who froze this? <laughs> Frozen. It turns around. It's a hundred degrees in here. It's like Mr. Freeze from Batman. I'm like, what? <laughs> okay. Okay. Don't you know you're going to flash right? Oh, oh. I mean, I brought the flash right? Dude, that is sketchy, bro. Illuminating every square inch of this place in one second. Not enough time for the ghost to move out of the way. What's that? I don't like that at all. Two horrible things just happened that I didn't understand. A male voice says, fire it up. Ghost to move out of the way. What's that? I don't like that at all. Hearing a strange phrase led me to look up the floor, floor plans to see if only one thing. Oh, no kidding. That's pretty cool. Point it towards that. Dude, look at that chair. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Dude, this is... We've never done anything like this before. Bro. Okay, okay, okay. But dude, no, for real, like... This is different, though. No, I'm serious. This is... Whoa, whoa, whoa. We, whoa. Have, we haven't stepped 14 I know, bro. Well, let's, uh... Let's start. What's your plan? Are you hearing that? What? Well, a little thud. So first off, um, <laughs> I just want to experience this place. Because our, our, our ignorance of this place is like kind of the most exciting thing. So I just want to, I want to experience this place with you right now, Andrew, how Sarah, who used to live in this house and how the architects of it intended it to be, you know? Like, like I'm one of the spirits or something. Just trying to find my way. So that's how I want to go about it. And then eventually, and hopefully, we don't get too lost. Oh, if we get separated from each other. But if eventually we can, uh, we can bust out the piece of paper that Sam and Colby give us all that information. Go to the most, the five most what they call haunted locations in here or something. Like yeah. This. Well, yeah. It was like the five most haunted slots or something. You kept on saying that. I'm not sure why. Or they did. I don't remember. Slots. The most five most haunted slots. Who called it? They did not call it that. Right. Did we misunderstand them? They did well, not I, say I think slots. you were like thinking of like top five. Sam and Colby. They didn't say ew with an L. Right. 
Let me see. Five most high slots? I think you said that. What's wrong with you that? Mean, like the top five. I didn't say slots. Like, I would never say that. Slot number one. Slot number two. The number one. The number two. Yeah, you the slots. What got into me? I don't know. You just got from. You, you were in Vegas. Oof. I God. Hate that. I, we need to stop. <laughs> okay. Some ghosts like carry on. And then once we experience it organically as one of the spirits, we can go to the five most you know active locations that Sam and Colby suggested. Are you kidding? Am I insane? Okay. Yeah. Dude, what the hell? Whoa, 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 already? Is this okay. a joke? We're in like the entry living room. Wait, 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 wait. Oh, Jesus. No, 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 no. Whoa, 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 hold on, hold on. Okay. That's illegal. All right, all right, let's. I'm calling 911. Wait. <laughs> I'm not, I'm not... That was pretty creepy though. I thought it was like a sneeze. I thought I was hearing like a sneeze, not a he. Not kidding. Wait. Something's going to happen right now. <laughs> Wait, let's go back to the front. I think we're getting, we're already getting. Andrew, we have to get into this house. I know. No, no, I don't think there is a front to this house. Wait, 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 wait. Um. Wait, what do you want to do? Whoa, 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 whoa. What? Jesus. Andrew. The camera just did something I've never seen in the last, like, 10 years of filming on what? this camera. What? I don't know. It, I can't like, with this camera. Sh juddered the whole, like, I don't know. It's a whole thing. All right, what's the move? I don't know. I need to stop nervously reaching for the snacks I have all over my persons. Yeah, I know. Andrew, I had the flashlight. If you ever want me to throw the headlamp on, LMK, let me know. No, I got it. Yeah, I know what LMK means. I was 12 before. <laughs> we hear a ghost be like, that was millennial cringe. <laughs> I'm like, what? LMK. <laughs> Why did you say that out loud? That sucked ass. <laughs> oh, sorry. Oh, wait, what was this? This door is like open, but not. That's not there from the outside. Where? For what? Who's that? It's a portrait of you. It gets like really confusing. <laughs> it's just all pictures of guys that you thought you were going to stay with long term. <laughs> Oh my god, stop, Andrew. <laughs> Literally, like, a good, like, several minutes of this video in the entry room. Only 159 more rooms to go. Andrew, I think what we're doing here, we're used to having, like, a game plan. I don't think that's the play in the Winchester house. I think it's just move forward and hope not to kind of actually die. Dude, if I see that guy... Sorry. Andrew! No, I don't. <laughs> Sorry. I just... No, I didn't need to say that. <laughs> that tall shadow guy? <laughs> just standing right there. Hey. He's like, he's like a tourist. Like, I've literally been lost in here for like three years. I just need some help. Thank God I'm able to find food sometimes. <laughs> if I weirdly got like suddenly brave and like dove like action style. Just <laughs> You're like, what? Garrett's never like that. Hold on. Dude. Wait, dude, 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 dude. As soon as I walk into this area, a female voice is clearly heard saying... Oh! Wait, dude, 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 dude. After hearing this, I wanted to look up what was, uh, was in this area. Yeah. What is this? What is what? What's in here? What is that? That's, dude. Dude, don't. I'm opening up the safe to figure out the mystery of the Winchester house. Don't blame me. Like a diamond or like a fruit roll up or something. Oh, Jesus. There was no cash in there. This place is boring. <laughs> Andrew, you want to go in here? Ew, they're moving. Wait, 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 whoa, 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 whoa. No, no, wait, 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 wait. Don't move. There is literally no air in this room, Wait, bro. I tell you. That it is dead still in here. Every window, no AC in this place. What are you, what the hell? Sorry. No, no, look, wait, what does that say? Andrew was re uh, actually reacting to the camera light that said it was running out of battery. Oh, the battery was I drained. Have they have batteries here too. No, I have battery. Wait, should we oh, the, oh, great, the light died. It did not. Yes, it did. I told you.
No, I didn't. Oh, fuck! I have batteries. They have the batteries. batteries. No, I have batteries. Is a mirror? Batteries here, do not have batteries. Nothing was behind that wall, yet it looked like there was light back there and like a figure walking by it. I kind of wish they actually looked behind it. I had to change the light. Damn. The I had to change the light. <laughs> I've just been standing here petrified. <laughs> the whole time you've been changing the battery, I've just been here just like so scared. And we're not even in the house at all right now. Okay. Where are we now? What is this? For real though, dude, this is so old. <laughs> you're just looking at me. <laughs> I'm like, Andrew. You're like, oh right, sorry, I'm in the house. <laughs> look at this, Andrew, look at this. If you fell down that, your leg's broken instantly. Andrew, there's some sort of Whoa! Oh, this is nice. They've got a little brie and cheese. I've always wanted to see brie under a glass cloach like that. Ew, it's not being like that. <laughs> no, sorry. What was that bump? Whoa, whoa. I couldn't make out words, the voice like sound, but I have watched this 50 times and I swear I fell. I feel like the red rope moves. Whoa. Whoa. Do you have any idea where we are right now? Huh. How long have we been doing this? I don't know. Oh, Andrew, look. Oh, there. Um. Ooh. <laughs> Ew. Ew. Why aren't you reacting to everything behind you? Not, dude, because luckily I keep on looking at the camera, messing with the camera. Nothing is working. The lights, oh, the Andrew, autofocus, right the exposure. When you said nothing was working, it just was like this draft of cold. I get it, it's dark and stuff, but like, it's just like everything not working at once. Wait, where in this moment do we go? Down that cavern with no... Is that a... What is that? Oh what the hell? What? 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 Andrew, that... Do, what, can what? you look down there and just see if you tell... I, I, no, 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 Around no, that no. corner. What, 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 what? Look towards the end of that hole. What do you mean? Just look towards the end of I'm looking there. I just pitch black. Put shine your flashlight on it. No. I mean, he's scared. Like, he's that scared he doesn't even want to, like, acknowledge. Dude, I've been in situations like that, too, where I think I might see somebody, so I'll completely just ignore it because I don't want to, like, acknowledge that they're there or I don't want, like, them to actually figure out that I know they're there, so they might actually try to come at me, so I'm always just kind of ignoring it. You can't zoom in on that? Zoom in on what? <gasps> Shine the flashlight down there. There's some janitor eating. <laughs> There's some janitor eating. There's some janitor eating. <laughs> Dude, that's I gotta go back and look at that. I, I feel like there's a lot of those moments where it's like mostly the shadows of like them moving the lights. There's some janitor eating. <laughs> there's some janitor eating. There's some janitor eating. I can kind of see what could look like a face right here. But that's really like grasping for straws. I mean, I'm, I'm not seeing nothing, but I, I wouldn't doubt he probably did see maybe a shadow, but um, what we get right here is not... I, I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> yeah. Dude, that scared the hell out of me. I thought I saw someone's leg down there, man. That was horrible. Leg. I never had my... Stomach drop like that. Dude. Wait, wait, okay, yeah, yeah, cool, I'm man. Sorry, sorry. I saw a figure and a leg. Whoa, 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 whoa. Do you see what I'm talking about? Dude, is this, if this is what. Don't, no, 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 no. Oh, Jesus. 
Dude, if this is throw what it back up there. Sorry, I don't know why I said throw it back up there. <laughs> I don't see it. Dude, that I don't was see it, man. horrible. Oh. What? This is horrible. Sorry, we're just looking at this oldest picture ever made. <laughs> yeah, like you say that and I turn around, it's me in high school. I'm like, oh, look at that. <laughs> <laughs> you were born in 1890. <laughs> Okay. Wait, so this is what they're talking about. Do you go in there? You said you wanted to recreate what it would be like. This is what it's like. You're going out. <gasps> Does people understand how small this what is? What the hell was that? That was me. That was me and this little, my big body going through this little space. Oh! Oh! oh. Wait, that, was your, that was your reflection. <laughs> that is so scary. Wait. Dude. Dude, hold on, hold on. There's more stairs. Wait. Dude, look at this staircase. Hold on one second, I gotta figure out something with this camera because it keeps on messing it. Wait, 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 did you hear that? What? It sounded like a little metal. T wait, 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 please don't be like, oh, nice. They're so jumpy. Oh, a top hat. What if we went down that hole that I thought I saw that leg? All right, you know what? It's okay. Whoa, whoa. What? I just heard a laugh, like a giggle. Yeah. Oh, there is a spirit of a little kid around there. Yeah, and it laughs a lot, too. I remember watching a Winchester re uh, investigation. I think it was Sam McColby, actually. It's okay. Whoa, whoa. It's okay. Whoa, whoa. Dude, I thought I heard, like, a voice. It was like... No, no, no. Was that your backpack? No, no, my backpack just jingled. You need to get a backpack that don't jingle, jingle. Andrew, my backpack jingles a little bit. There's nothing wrong with that. No, you missed it. <laughs> you missed my TikTok card. Oh, my backpack don't jingle jingle, it falls. Wait, 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 wait. Oh my gosh. Is your bad? Put that in a Sam and Colby thumbnail. <laughs> <laughs> Someone wearing like a fedora. Wait, there was a fedora back there. Ew, Andrew, they said that the tall guy was wearing a hat. Dude, was that him? No, my god. Oh, that is the worst. Dude. <laughs> wait, that goes so far down there. Why is there like a hundred kitchens in here? Dude, we just... Oh, this is room is little. Ew, no, that's not illegal, Andrew. Dude, look Hold at what I'm looking at. Hold on. Gosh. This is an awfully scary sight. What? Just everything Oh, you I think see. that's a scary sight? Oh, uh, take a peek. Dude, if that chair started moving right now, I wouldn't know how to get out of here, and that would be the worst part. Whoa, whoa, whoa. What? Wait, wait, wait. Look at that window. Dude, you know what's crazy? Yeah, what about walking over here? You know what's crazy, man? This is, this, this is like, this whole thing seems like it's a, uh, what, what is it called? Like a... What? This whole thing, thing seems like it was, you know, I don't know what the word is. <laughs> it's like a, like an, like a, like this whole thing seems like it's some sort of a frozen in time. Yeah. Well, no. <laughs> <laughs> the ghost, like, what is it? Try to say. No, it. no, no. <sighs> what is? This? What's above you? <laughs> That's so cool. Whoa, 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 whoa! What on earth was that? Like eight no, things in the window. Dude, before I turned around, I saw that light. Are that you serious? Insane. Wait. Oh. <laughs> Wait, what? Dude, you gotta get this thing to turn off, bro. <laughs> oh, is it on? Yeah, yeah, oh. yeah. You gotta turn this off. You turn it off. Ew, why is that in there? All right, you know what? <laughs> we got four stories of house and you're looking at a bag. Dude, Andrew, I don't wanna go down to there. <laughs> what is that? What? Oh, sorry, hold on. No, what is that? Oh! What, what right happened? there, you right there. Crawl? No, it was like, <laughs> Replay that footage, do that boom thing that you <laughs> LOL. Sorry, hold on. No, what is that? Oh! What? Oh, sorry, hold on. No, what is that? Oh! No, that's real. That was valid. Oh. Look at look at what I'm saying and then picture something scarier. Yeah, yep, I knew it. You couldn't. Alright. Dude, you're gonna walk down first? Hold on. Walk down first. Hold on. What? You want me to? No, hold on. <laughs> what? Is this the basement? I don't know. Okay. I don't know what I don't know if we're on the set. I don't know if we're in the clouds right now, Andrew. Well, Sam and Colby said. Oh, do you hear that from there? No. Whoa, whoa, Are there three dude, people down there? Dude, what is going on? Andrew, you walk down first, it'll be like a POV thing, it'll be sick. Sam and Colby said that in the basement there was an angry man. Andrew, don't say that. Moving a wheelbarrow around. He said it was like the angriest spirit in the house. Andrew, ew! Andrew, can you walk down first? Come on, let's go in first. Bitch, be careful. You say bitch, be careful. I'm right behind you. What's it like down there? Pipes from like the 1500s. If I hear a wheelbarrow noise. Andrew, don't say even suggest. Oh gosh, dude, no, 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 no. Everything's scary. Everything's really, really, really scary. Andrew, all of a sudden. Veil. I'll walk this way, dude. 
What? No, the light went out. Wait, did it? Yeah, the top light. It's not on anymore. Well, it's not really working, so maybe just turn, okay. turn your headlamp on. Is that too bright? Is your headlamp on. Put it on your head. Oh, <laughs> sorry. Andrew, should we go forward? Sorry, you're very out of focus. Dude, down here, your light turns off. I'm out of focus. All right, yeah, let's just roll through here. <laughs> Making it not scared off. Let's roll through here. What even is this place? I can't get this face off my face. Dude, 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 stop! Oh my gosh, my back to that. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I felt something fell over there and it freaked me out. Did you hear that over there? I Am did. I tripping? No, no, I did. Like, ah! This feels like something's toying with Dude, the there's. Sound. Okay, first of all, there's definitely a black widow up there. Ew, Aaron! What if it falls in my eye, I'll freak out. Where is it? Ooh, <gasps> Ooh you see him? Alright, just go. Wait, 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 wait. Don't what? move. That's just a dead end. Oh. I mean, I could probably picture that being a wheelbarrow. Yeah, oh, yeah. Let's just it's walk pretty creepy. Time. Don't let me in here, man. Don't leave me back here. Whoa, what? Is, wait, is this how we came up? If we came up at my place in Los Angeles, just like, whoa, <laughs> this place is really <laughs> weird. <laughs> oh my God. What? Hold on, I can't. I can't see. Whoa. Dude, oh, 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 what? Oh my god, why would they do this? <laughs> and we looked away for a second and they were all gone. Oh, are you okay? Jesus. Oh, are you good? Are you good? Dude, I did not notice you that. You didn't sprain your ankle or anything? Oh. Okay, stairs to somewhere. Dude, wait, I thought you go there. I can take the camera too, like kind of a weird first person thing. Sorry, I just mean more like. Oh, I see what you're saying. Like, Shine a light up there. You wanna get like in front of me? In the last. Five seconds, there were two voices. First, a deep male voice from the stairs while Andrew speaks. It sounds like he says, Andrew. Sorry, I just mean more like thing. Sorry, I just mean more like. Shine a light up there. You wanna get like in front of me? Shine a light up there. You wanna get like in front of me? Hold on. So this is the first time we're going up, right? Yes. Well, well oh. I, for I forgot about that. The whole, she had a dog that she deeply loved. What? Oh what? my what? God. What? Oh my what? God. Dude, what? Dude, what? you didn't hear that? No. You didn't hear that? No, what? Bro. You're, you're wearing headphones Bro, in your I ears. Am, that is, that was crazy. What was Dude, that? Dude, that, oh my God. It was like a, sh like a holler, like a shout. No. It was a, it was a man. I that was no. not outside. That was not that was any sort of house noise. That was straight up, up there. Dude, this place. In the distance, up there. It's completely. Well. Oh, what? Well. Oh, what? Oh what? my what God. Happened? What happened? Oh my what God. Oh yeah, that's a good point. Yeah, free me. Like it's being, it was trapped. Like it's lost in the house somewhere. That is rather sad. What the f It feels sketchy to keep walking up there after having heard that. It's like, why would I keep going up, bro? I'm not playing, man. That was not, that was not a pipe. That was not anything that a house would make. There's no one in here. That was a sound of a voice box, bro. Do you want me to go first? I mean, yeah, actually, yeah. <laughs> I forgot that was an option, please. Dude, it feels bad up here. Dude, hold on. I love that I'm back facing towards where you saw a leg and then front facing towards where Dude, I heard a I shout. Don't, I don't know if you agree with me, but right here, this divide, it gets like gross, really. Bro, I'm not trying to feel no divide. Man. Andrew, Sorry, I'm like not even filming you, bro. Right here. About to drop the damn camera. The woman who built this house. Sarah's bedroom. This is where I think, uh, I think this is where called me Chris saw the shadow. That's what we're at right now. Sarah's bedroom. Yeah. Are you serious? This Wait, no, that no no, hold on. This is what Sam and Colby said. Sarah's bedroom and what was it? Yeah, in Sarah's bedroom, the woman who Hold on, hold Did on. Did you hear that? Hold on a second. I'm gonna give you just give me like a second here. Okay. Pull out that thing. Pull out that note. Sam and Colby said there's the two bedrooms. Oh. No. Oh. No, hey, is that someone is that someone in here? 
Andrew, is this a joke? Did hold, you on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Sorry, I don't know why I keep on saying hold on, but I don't know what to do. Andrew, look at this, dude. Come on, watch. Come on, watch. What, does he just stop working all of a sudden? Nice. Andrew, did you hear that in this room? What was that? Hold on a second. Give me this thing so I can just stop thinking about this. Sarah Winchester's bedroom right there. Most active place. That was one of the most clear, in-person things that have ever happened in a haunted experience for me. Face tracking's not working at all. Oh my god. What was that? Oh my, you heard that too? My heart is in my ear. My heartbeat is in my ears right now. Face tracking is not working at all. Andrew, That's a lost cause. Hold on, hold on. Out of nowhere. Smell. What's what? that smell? What is that smell all of a sudden? Did you smell that? No, I heard a smell. breath from right over your shoulder. I heard like an inhale. Yeah, I was actually sitting here to listen. I heard it too, that, yeah. Out of nowhere. Smell, what's what? that smell? It sounds like a woman too, doing it. Out of nowhere. Smell, what's what? that smell? What is that smell all of a sudden? Did you smell that? Andrew smelling the scent immediately after I hear a woman breathe over his shoulder is very unsettling. Oh, all right, let's just keep moving. Sorry, right, I'm not. Wait, 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 wait. Hold on. Andrew, you know, you know, you know what it sounded like. I'm really trying to figure this out. You heard it in the video. It was like a teacup going down on a plate, or like someone setting down a teacup to like come see who's in a room. Oh, or something. oh, really? What? Oh, really? Oh, no, oh really? So crazy. Oh, Bro, no. you did not just say no, that no, no, right no, no. now. No, that sounded like it was coming from the the, the, the hall, though. I will yeah. say it did not sound like it was coming from the yeah. bed. Yeah. Okay. Well, it like it's it still it, right okay. All right. If that mystery door, noise, dude, think it sounds like a teacup, teacup on the bed, Sarah's bed, one of the scariest areas in this place. Okay. Just okay, say, first I'm of all, crazy. can we get out of the room, please? No, I, I don't want to just stand in this room and experience. Uh, Fun okay. is what we're having because we don't like to use that language in Sarah's room. Right, right, right. Bro, you cannot go the wrong direction. Whoa. Bro, I'm... What happened in this hole just now? That was insane. All right. Sometimes in places like this, you don't know what to do. This is one of those times. Oh, my God. Several more floors to go up. Oh, my God. Is there a light on for? Whoa, 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 what? What is that for? No, no, no. What There's no that? lights. They said there was... A... They said everything was completely off. What is that, Hold on, Andrew? hold on. They said there was absolutely no lights on. If you see a light on, it's not us. That's what they said. Wait, where is that light coming from? Oh, it's a bathroom. <gasps> okay, never mind. Dude, what is the other bat bedroom? Sarah's and Daisy's. Not, not working. Focus not working at all. Eret. Oh, shoot. Here. What, what did it say? Daisy. Let's try to find the... Daisy's room? Oh. No, 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 oh. no. Why is it going up higher? Oh, wait. What are these other rooms? What's in there? Oh, Jesus. I hate this room. Wait. Oh, I don't even want to go in there, Andrew. What is it? Hold on. I got the light. Try seeing how it feels in there. Ooh. Ooh. Whoa. Whoa. Okay, right there. No, no, no. Dude, what is happening with the floor right here? Sounds like someone's standing right there. Ooh. We need to find Daisy's bedroom and then move on. What was that? This door makes me feel as big as I am. Bro, all right. Gosh. All right, dude, let's figure out how to get up. Oh, dude, I'm not. Woo! All right. Oh. oh. What is it? Bro, I'm not trying to do this. I'm not trying to do this. Whoa! Oh my gosh. Oh my god. That's weird. That's me when you come over at like, uh, like 2 p.m. <laughs> at work. What on earth? I mean, we did not approve those figures of ourselves. No, we did not. All right, you can go then. Oh, Andrew, they said they have a Halloween event. Perhaps this was set up for this. That had to be the case. <laughs> yeah, I guess it doesn't make any sense for there to be like the scariest dolls in the yeah, world okay, in one okay, room. Okay, okay, okay. All right, cool. What in the... How far does this go? I don't know. All right, let's just keep going before oh, something crazy. attaches to us. How about that, brother? Standing in one... Oh! What's up? Oh. <laughs> Watch it. Oh, my gosh. That's me after the dentist. Dude, that's, me, that's me getting ready. <laughs> that's me getting ready for anything. Oh, that's you. <laughs> Navigating the house was becoming more difficult than we ever imagined. We are on the same room as Sarah's bedroom. We've been walking around for like 25 minutes. We need to go up. We need to go up, and I'm not going that way. What is this? What? That's Sarah's bedroom. No. What is this? 
Dude, down. every time I'm not playing. I'm not playing games. Okay. I'm not playing here. games. I, I, every time I walk around here, my whole body is full chills. Someone is standing there. Dude, that area is. Someone is standing there. What in the hell is that? What? Seen this way, Andrew. What? Where? Oh my. It goes somewhere. Wait, is it a fake out for the ghosts? We're going up. Uh uh. <sighs> Hold on, this is really. <sighs> okay, alright. Yeah, Andrew, you're normal. I thought. get it. God, this place is making me self conscious. <laughs> Dude, this place is dicey. This is dicey, bro. Uh uh. Shine a light Dude, down that hallway. There. Shine nope. it down there. Why? Do it. This light can't even like, reach the end of that. Hold on. Dude, what the heck? And I, while editing, I heard this. I was coming up the stairs. Let's listen back. Please walk in there. No. Farm hands bedroom. That's me when I cut like one tomato. Sorry. <laughs> I like eating tomato. I love tomatoes. <laughs> All right. Oh, what the fuck? What, what, what? Hold on, I stepped right here. I'm gonna fall through this? No, you're not gonna fall through that. I you fall through it. Mmm. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Jesus. I think that is the, uh, I think that's the hallway, right? To the, the peak of the house. This, down there. Look at this, over there! Uncharted territory. Wait, no, no, I'm mad that we have to walk. Wait, ah, damn it. Hold on, maybe if I, no. Oh, what is it? Hold on, dude. What was that? People? Hundreds? Okay, definitely did not move. Hold on a second, hold on a second. There's little stairs, be careful. Dude, she did a good job making this confusing. What is going on? Dude, 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 look at that chair. Oh, someone's sitting in that. All right, cool. Dude, this is the most confusing part of the house. We need to keep going up. Because I know that I saw stairs back here. Okay, up more, up more, up more, here we go. Go, keep straight, go straight. Oh, sorry, oh, ow. It's all right. What is the seance room? Oh! Sam and Colby said that was a fake seance room. Is this the seance room, the real one? I would have gotten lost so easily, dude. I'm I'm getting anxious and nervous just watching them go through all these hallways and stuff. I don't think I could do it. Here we go. Found it. <laughs> no Who's answer. There? Up there? Go up there. These are the steps that we missed. I don't understand this place at all. I think that's the whole point. Oh, what is all this? Dude, spider webs? Why am I getting spider webs? Has no one ever been in here? What is that? Dude, let's go the other Wait, way. Dude, we're, we're, oh, oh, God, we're like... What? What? Up, above, like, death? Look, Andrew, this is like a 50-foot drop below us. Oh. oh, my God. Is this safe? No. Is this sturdy? <laughs> I don't know. I need to fall through? This area has a very... Deeply unsettling feel. This has got to be something Sam and Colby told us about. This has to be something. Jeez. Oh, God. Whoa, 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 what? Andrew, look. What is that? Are you what? what? What are you doing? There's like someone here. This is insane. What is this? Oh, oh there it is. Wait, 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 wait. What? Dude, 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 dude. Not this room. No, that no. Don't even go in there. Okay, I'll stick the I'm camera like, in. I'm giving you I'll a stick the camera in. All right. What are you doing, dude? What the hell are you doing? You're freaking me out, man. You are freaking me out. Nah, I just felt like something really didn't want to see the light. What? Ew. There's someone here. Wait, what? dude, I don't like this. I actually am like sweating and I have the chills at the same time. Winchester House Seance. Dude. What? 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 Oh what? Andrew, dude, this is like. What is going on? Wait, what is this? Dude. No, I'm serious. What is this? Yep. You're in the the witch's cap, I think is what they call it. Yep. Is it Andrew, this is like look at do you, do you understand what I'm dealing with over here? And this light is just it's not functioning right now. Like you, you have to cycle through it in order to get to these things, and it's just cycling through it on its own. Might this be being not, drained. This is not me. What does it do if I leave it alone? Dude. If that stops, what is this? This is messing with us? 
What, what the fuck? What is this, man? Dude, what the hell? Damn, I'm filming you. I am literally forgot about the camera. Now I actually feel like... You know, sometimes I've seen comments like, Gary, you shouldn't toy with this stuff. And it's kind of funny because now I almost feel like an amateur, like, out of my league in this room. There's actually something, like, very unsettling about this place. To be fair, man, to be fair, like, most of the people who are into the paranormal and the paranormal field are, in a sense, amateurs. There's really no professional in this field. Like, you can ha you can have knowledge. I mean, that's that's fine. But, like, in all reality, we're diving into the unknown. Nobody really knows what they're doing. We're just trying to, we're trying to make sense of it in the best way we possibly can and figure things out. But even then, we're not even too sure if we're still figuring things out or making sense of what is, or of what we just do not understand. And that's kind of the exciting part to me about the unknown is that we just are kind of figuring things out still. So, I mean, there's people who can have more experience than other people, like going out and doing all the stuff more often. But there's really no such thing as professional in the field. Maybe professional in how you use the equipment and stuff. Like, oh, when I start using the equipment, I won't know how to use the equipment properly. So I'll have to, like, actually figure it out myself. But I, I think everybody, in a sense, is relatively just not too sure yet of what they're doing. Let's dip, man. Let's not go. Let's not be in this room. I told you we were gonna get lost. Let's retrace our steps, dude. No, let's retrace our steps. I don't want to keep getting lost. Oh what the, f the hell was that? Is that the person? No. Uh, whoa, 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 whoa. Who's that? Is that someone? Camera's shaking like crazy. And did you hear that? Was that? I yeah. A full person there? I thought it was just a whoa, person. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Is that door moving? Dude, uh, we, we need to retrace our steps. We're actually going to get lost Dude, in here. Okay, or keep going. I don't know. Jeez. Jeez. This. What was that noise? I'll, I'll, I'll walk in front. It's okay. But we need to retrace our steps. Well, I think that this will lead right back. And if it doesn't, we will retrace our steps. It's already 1 a.m. I just got a text from one of the girls who set us up in here, and she said she was coming back on the property, and she didn't want to scare us, so she let us know. I'm gonna stop filming them if she's yeah. gonna come in because I don't. Like... Yeah, no, it's fine. Let's get this. Give it a second. Let's find somewhere to catch some fresh air. Some more stairs. I hate being alone behind you. What is uh, this? What? What is it? We're outside. Are you serious? This is so cool. I could really use this right now. We were glad to be out of the house while we waited for the staff to return. They told us the last thing we wanted to hear. Okay. What'd she say? What'd she say? I'm sorry, you said you were walking by the basement and you heard somebody say stop? No, no one else is now. What do we do, Andrew? Oh, God. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> Yeah, hey, we're here, we're here. Um, what's happening in here right now? You just heard a voice? It's ever been. So she puts her flashlight down the basement hallway, just be like, hey, do you hear anything? No, moves the flashlight, and I hear someone say, stop, as soon as she flashes the flashlight down. And we down. ran. <laughs> we ran. Now, now, let me get this straight. You two work here, and you're here all the time. But of how many times I've been in here by myself at night, this is like the Wait, darkest I felt like the house is. <laughs> For Sorry, some reason. That, that, what, what did the voice sound like? What was the stop? That was, so it sounded like a male, so that's why I called, because I was like, maybe it's Garrett. Like, and you were like, I'm on the roof. The basement. Yeah. And I was like. That's sweet that you think I sound like a man. <laughs> But, 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 uh, Colby said that there was like an angry spirit, like a man angry spirit in the basement. One of the stories in the house is that there's this wheelbarrow ghost in the basement. <laughs> Everyone under the sun has been saying that they see him either in the grand ballroom fixing the fireplace. I don't like that at all. Yeah. Or in the basement. Oh. Cole! Jesus. Um, I know he definitely hangs out there. <laughs> but also we did go down the basement. So. We did. Okay. Which one? Oh, Which, yeah, there's basement. Two. There's two Which basement? Yeah. Bye. <laughs> <laughs> we went into one that was mostly brick. Wait, 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 wait. Don't. Like red brick. Did you see a boiler? Terrence? 
Andrew, did we see chairs in the boiler room? Like, they'd be in a full circle. Jesus, no, I didn't. <laughs> we were in a really small basement. Yeah, okay, okay. Yeah, we were in a wrong basement. Where's the other basement? Last stop, yeah. So, okay, I'm sorry, just to clarify, this is where the basement is where you just heard someone say stop? No. no. That's over here. This is the hallway where Olivia was telling you that story about where they saw that. No. And they saw the shadow there. Oh, figure with the Wait, door. wait, 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 no, no. What the hell? What, what, what? Can you look down there to see if you tell? No, 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 Around that corner. Sorry, 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 but dude. Wait, what? That's where I saw those legs, man. This is horrible. That dark hallway with stairs is where we heard the stop. Wait, which one? Straight ahead. I don't want to go there. Wait, you heard it stop from there? <laughs> Wait, where were you when you heard it? At the very top of the steps. Well, thanks for telling us that. We're going to go ahead and go down there. Good luck. Good luck. Fine. Fine. Where are you guys going to be? Uh, not in the basement. <laughs> Weird. <laughs> they, just, they do that and then disappear. Okay. Not in the basement. Not there. Okay. okay. What was that? We'll meet you in the front yard. We're gonna go ahead and walk into the basement where you heard an entity tell you to stop. <laughs> We're gonna go ahead and do that. See you soon. Nice. Adios. Okay. Later. Really? Yeah. What no, the hell no, are no, you no, doing? No, I just wanted to check the list and I got excited. Jesus. Okay. Sorry. I was like really Acted weird. like an entity grab your waist. I don't know why I did that. Yeah, I'm weird. really on edge right now. Yeah, clearly. Should we drink some of the? You both are, man. You both are fucking on edge beyond belief. The ghost energy drink before we go downstairs to see the ghost? No, Andrew, that's insane. We're not gonna do that at 1 a.m. Yeah. <laughs> Why are you dripping on the Winchester? Stop, Andrew. Sorry. Dude, Andrew, what they said, out of the 400 halls in this place, that they had to say was the hall where they saw the tall entity where I was like, I Unreal. just saw a Unreal. Leg. That what? validated your- That is insane. I saw like a lanky leg that looked like it traveled away for a moment. Like it was- oh. Let's not talk about me in the gym, okay? Andrew, sorry. <laughs> Let's not talk about me in the treadmill. All right, listen. <laughs> I'm gonna let you go first. Oh, thanks. I went first that one time. What? I heard that. Is there someone here? I heard that. Dude, is there someone here? Can I, I never do this. Dude, dude. Is there someone here? Wait. Dude, how are they so certain that someone's not actually here? Man, you in basements. You really got a thing for basements, don't oh, you? I'm so done with basements. Dude, if I stay here and there's actually someone there, I can Spartan kick them from here. Well, if they're... A ghost, I don't think it's gonna matter. <laughs> Probably not. You know whoa, whoa, whoa. Dude, I am not kidding you right now. You're gonna think I'm playing games? Did that not sound like a squeaky wheel? Just kinda. Yeah, it did. Dude, camera sound. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Dude, camera sound. Whoa, whoa, whoa. You going? Sure. Wait, hold on. No. Whoa, whoa, hold on. Hold on. Camera's messing up. Camera's messing up. I gotta this say. Is the worst place in here. Is I gotta. I gotta say, I'm on edge. Dude, this is messing up. This is the worst place. No, 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 I'm serious. Crazy sounds. Wait, what is that flickering light right there? Some sort of furnace. Bro, Man, I bro. Cannot... Can you do me a favor, Andrew, and turn off that light? I know that no one will be able to see, but I just want that. Can we just exist in the dark here for a sec? You cut that one off, and I'll cut this one off. Just be here for a moment. Weird camera noises for the first time. Pretty much this whole time. You can still listen. Hold on. I'll turn this. All right, hold on. Hold on, dude, wait, 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 dude, oh my god. No, no, hold on, dude, look at the face tracking in this. Oh, no, 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 wait, I need to get my phone, I can actually see that. Wait, 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 hang on, please, phone. Dude, I hear so many things. 
You got that, that is absolutely. That's why I wanted to turn the lights. Literally off. no reason. I tell this place. Literally no reason. Because I felt like it wanted it. I think it's right there. Hold on. Hold on. No, Andrew. The fact that it's tracking it like that, like I know that was happening a bit in the apartment. Oh, that movement. A grinding noise. I can't see anything. I love this. Turn on something. Yeah, maybe just that. Alright. Yeah, poles. No, no, nobody. Those chairs. Oh. No. Oh. Did you just hear that? Yeah. What was that? Was that, that was something? There's a shriek. Dude. Hold on. Hold on. Yeah, please. I missed it. Did you just hear that? Did you just hear that? Hold on. First of all, why? Second of all, why? Dude, I keep hearing these little shrieks. Brother, don't leave me up here. Hey, 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 dude. Why is this happening? Why are there all these chairs down? This is the scariest thing I've ever seen. You don't know how to get out of here, man. If you keep on going inside, we're gonna get lost. This is a basement to the whole house. Dude, there's, are you serious? Like a whole damn dum -dums down here. If I didn't know any better about taking things from haunted basements, I would take the mystery flavored one. Dude, or wait. the butterscotch one. Please, can I have a butterscotch one? What's down there? Can we just do one thing while we're down here? Oh. Do another, maybe do a couple more? Wait, what the hell was what? that? And I won't take a dum dum, even though I really want a butterscotch one. Haven't you learned your lesson? <laughs> I really haven't. <laughs> wait, you. Andrew, there's a whole thing. <laughs> No, 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 you literally just... Oh, Andrew, right, you know I what? just want to get... Well, I'm going to go for the butterscotch. Oh, there it is. Which one do you want? The cherry. Well, wait. Should I... What? Literally? Okay, literally I'm what? I'm putting him down. What I'm was that down. even? Okay, hey, hey, hey. Go, 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 go. Wait, now we actually have to get out of here. Oh, wait, Andrew. The hallway with the guy. Don't tell me you saw something and when I did out of the clearest voice and the video was heard. Okay. Oh. Okay. I was aiming my camera down there when you did that. So. Get out. Get out. No. Oh, dude, Andrew, look, we're good. Here's the front door. Oh, my God. Oh, forgot what outside sounded like. Oh, my God. Goodbye for now, Winchester House. Holy cat! Whoa! Oh, it's cool. You're welcome. This and now you're saying goodbye. It's like I'm literally just a cat. Stop projecting onto me. Do you want some ghost energy drink? No. It's sour. No. Flavor. I can't compete with the carpet in front of the Winchester House. <laughs> okay, I got it. <laughs> Right, we gotta, go. We gotta go. <laughs> so I went to take one final look at it because after everything that happened in this video and how everything leading up to entering this place seemed so insanely cursed, in this moment I was legitimately thinking to myself, I'll probably never see the inside of this place again in my entire life. And then I would learn almost immediately that I was extremely wrong about that. Because when I went to return the keys, the wonderful girls who worked there said they were too freaked out to enter it again alone and asked if we'd help them close it up for the night. Like, yeah, sure, they needed my bravery, but also way more so, they needed my height to help with re-screwing in like the 30 light bulbs around the house they had unscrewed so that we could explore it properly in the dark. <laughs> Basically, my bravery Avery had absolutely nothing to do with this and I was being used for my height completely. But I was cool with it because we got to see some areas of it that we never got around to seeing, you know, on account of being hopelessly lost and scared shitless. Like the 7-Eleven staircase, for example, which made me feel truly at home and validated in my most recent fashion choice, one that I'll take with me to the grave. I'm, I'm, I'm never taking this off. I even got to eat a green gummy bear in the room Sarah Winchester's viewing was hosted, which was honestly a pretty lit experience. I And no, I won't apologize for unironically using that word. Then once it was lit up and brought back to life, we finally said goodbye. 
once and for all to the Winchester house. We went back to our criminally overpriced hotel room, ate a weird amount of fast food, slept, woke up, Andrew showed me his absolute favorite picture, we packed up all our gear, then it was time to hit the road, back to Los Angeles, and I clearly wasn't over the loss of my spooky box. Wouldn't it be the greatest thing in the world if we went back to the truck and the spooky box was somehow in the back of the truck? Wouldn't that be the greatest ending to the video ever? Oh, dude, someone could have took it and thought it was, like, haunted and then be like, I gotta, we gotta give it back. I think it's back. The spooky box was not in the back of the truck. The thief had not replaced the box he sold. And I was furious all over again. Bye, San Jose. I will, we will never see you again. Ever. Ever. <sighs> so I've been thinking. <laughs> a lot about the spooky box being stolen from me. You gotta be grateful for the little things. For instance, uh, if he was in there, I, I, I don't know what I would have done. It would have been dark and I would have gone and collected several heads. <laughs> Sorry. You gotta look at the bright side of life sometimes, you know what I'm saying? I know coming off of all that, this probably isn't the vibe, but it is for me. And that's what matters after all of that darkness from the Winchester house. If people say that that is one of the most haunted houses in the world, guess what? Now that I've been inside of it, I agree wholeheartedly. That voice that said get out in the end is something that's kept me up for several, several, several nights since I shot that video. So I'm gonna do what I can to cheer myself up. And what I'm gonna do right now is count my lucky stars that he was not in the spooky box when it was stolen. Which I still can't believe. I'll have to make another. I'm gonna make another one and it's gonna come back more glorious than ever. You thieves can't stop me from making, from being the greatest ghost hunter I, may, I am meant to be. That is a challenge from the universe and I will take it with pride. I am working on some stuff behind the scenes right now that is going to have me never unprepared again <laughs> to enter a haunted location. I'm not playing around this time. You'll see. Oh my God. What an experience this has if been. If you're wondering what happened with those Polaroid pictures that we took in the house, what was captured in those, Oh God, I will tell you, absolutely nothing. <laughs> okay. Yeah, they're, they're generally just, just black, but there are some fun ones in here. Look at these. And that leads me perfectly right into my next point. Guess what I'm gonna do with these? Andrew and I are going to sign these and we are going to randomly uh, send the signed Polaroids from the Winchester house to some random people who choose to buy uh, some of the new merch from the, uh, the new collection, which I am rocking right now. I mean, come on, look at that. As you saw earlier in the video with the glow in the dark detail, can you believe it? But yeah, there's some real fun things over on thingsbygarrett.com, which is where I sell uh, beautiful things that I make from time to time. And up now are a lot of fun new things. Uh, this is a shirt that I designed, which is based on some of my favorite uh, hip hop albums from the early 2000s that I really adore. I got my 2006 Prius zooming in there, whole bunch of gemstones, $1 bills, a lot of my favorite things. This guy, which you saw in the beginning of the video, and this guy here, which, oh my gosh, I love so much. But over on thingsbygarrett.com, it's not just clothes that I sell. I sell things and you literally won't believe something else that's up on there. I'm selling the actual door handle to my haunted apartment. Separately, I'm selling the key as well. No <laughs> way. Because yeah, That's it's something. not always clothes. Sometimes it's things. And I sometimes like the idea of putting very strange stuff up for sale sometimes. The story there is that the locks needed to be changed anyway. So I asked the landlord, do you mind if I take the old door handle and key? And he was like, yeah, I guess that's weird, but sure. All these things and plenty more in the future available now at thingsbygarrett.com. Uh. Oh, and of course, thank you so much to Sam and Colby for participating in my nonsense for this video. They're champs, they're troopers. I absolutely love them. And what's more, I've got something really fun to tell you. Uh, you know, those um, spooky guns, the spooky holy water guns, the holy water guns that I made for them in this video. Well, if you want to see the behind the scenes of me making those piece by piece, every detail, I made an entire uh, dedicated video to it over on my, on my side channel, Garrett Unhinged. So if you want to make those guns with me, <laughs> I had a lot of fun doing it. So I'll put that video at the end of this one. If you want to see it, uh, I had a lot of fun with that. Oh, obviously, thank you to the Winchester house for having us. They have a really cool haunted house uh, going on right now, which is coincidentally called the Unhinged Housewarming. No affiliation with my side channel, but you can buy tickets for that and you can actually go through the uh, the Winchester house, which has been fully converted into like a haunted house for the spooky season. So check that out if you're, if you, if you're in the San Jose area or you plan on going there, which is a risky game, <laughs> according to everything that happened in this video, <laughs> but you'll be fine. <laughs>
careful. And then finally, you know me, I'm always loving to ask y'all a question at the end of the video because there is nothing that I love more than being in the comments. I'm in the comments obsessively at the, at, with my YouTube videos. Uh, I respond to uh, the thousands of comments. It's one of my favorite things is to actually talk to you guys. So the question I want to ask you and I cannot wait to hear your responses is this. Since I'm uploading this video in the spooky season, what are you gonna be for Halloween? And if Halloween already passed, tell me what you were in Halloween 2023. But tell me what you're gonna be. <laughs> I can't wait to hear, are you gonna make your costume? Are you gonna buy it? Is it gonna be with a friend? Is it gonna be in tandem? And if you haven't even thought about it yet, then this will be a good chance to think about it. Think about it with me in the comments because I will talk about Halloween costumes all day, day and night. And if you wanna know, I myself, I'm gonna be Jessica Lang from either American Horror Story, Coven or Freak Show. I haven't decided. And if you're wondering nice. how I am gonna pull off looking like Jessica Lang, Here's the thing, I won't <laughs> at all, but I'm still gonna try because that's all I ever do is try. <laughs> oh God, this is getting dark. I love you. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this wild video. If you have been watching all the way up into the end, good lord, you're a real one, and I truly appreciate you. Well, thank Beware you. Beware of haunted I appreciate houses, it. And also, be, and also lock your vehicles so people don't steal your spooky boxes. I'm getting so heated up about this. I have to go to bed now. Bye, love you, see you. <laughs> Okay, okay, okay. And to answer your question, I'm probably gonna be this guy again. I bought the silicone mask about last year and I, I love it. So I'm gonna be an alien again. It was easy getting through the video because you made it so entertaining. I was very much entertained. Uh, I, I genuinely enjoyed it. I did love the Sam and Colby cameo, how you had him in there and talking about the Winchester house. I thought that was very cool. And you you did a very good job on hosting it, dude. I, I genuinely enjoyed that video. I wish we got more of the Winchester Mystery House. Uh, not saying anything bad about, you know, your trips and everything. You're, I really would have loved some more Winchester. I think you were really good in that. I think, uh, I think it would have been a very fun investigation if it had been, like, maybe an extra 30 minutes long or something. But uh, anyways, guys, if you like this type of content and want some more content, of course, go support the original video. Hit the like button. Subscribe to the channel if you're new around here. I'm going to go ahead and end this video because it's already going on almost three hours long. Thank you guys so much for watching. I appreciate your your patience with me while I've been getting through my my uh, Well recently I've been going through a lot of stress because I've been working at my job my security job and doing YouTube at the same time And sometimes it kind of gives me a little bit of work overload and I get exhausted really easily So I've been trying to get catch up on a lot of sleep, but I hope you enjoy this video guys Thank you so much again for watching. I appreciate it and I'll check you guys out in the next video Keep it retro and do take care